that she went out with some friends. Now what stupid friend is that? Mom, that question should be directed to my stubborn sister, not me. What is even wrong with her? Why is Emma behaving like this? She's aware that we're expecting some visitors that would ask for her hand in marriage, only for her to leave this palace, returning the slate. Why? Well, it's obvious she's not interested in getting married. So if you ask me, I think we should let her be. I beg your pardon? Can you even hear yourself? You should be the one advising your sister. And you're allowing her behave this way. She is the only daughter of this family. Now take a look at the way she's behaving. And you're just feeling less concerned about her character. Would you go? What else do you want me to say, Mom? I've done my best. I've done all I can. But she wouldn't listen. What do you want me to do? Tie her up and give her to some man? I won't do that. Hi, Princess. Mm -hmm. I think this will look better on you. Yes. You think so? Yes, my princess. Let me see. This one. Think so? Yes. Let me see the other one. Mm. I love this one. Let me wear this instead. <laughs> <laughs> so you rock this one and yes. follow me. <laughs> I really hope so because I want to look very beautiful that day. Of course you will. You look beautiful with this. <laughs> If I am. Am I really beautiful? My princess, you don't need to ask. <laughs> you already know you're the most beautiful maiden in the Bodoma kingdom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I just wanted to confirm my alluring beauty. Do you know I once won the most beautiful girl in school? Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, the university I attended. Wow. <laughs> you don't say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means you're not just beautiful. You're also very pretty with a killer <laughs> cubs. <laughs> Thank you. And with all this beauty, I can't even settle for anything less. If he's not a prince, I'm not giving him the touch. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Exactly my point, my princess. You're too beautiful for that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, if I am. Yeah, and with all this cheap, cheap suitors coming to the palace to ask for my hand in marriage, they should all just go to hell. I don't even care. Thank I don't you. care. Princess Uma, mm. you're so beautiful. Mm. <laughs> just like your beautiful name. <laughs> Mm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, <laughs> if I am. Yes, my princess. Did you see the one that came last week? The one that said his name is um Chiedu. <laughs> the moto moto paper dealer. Yes, oh, saw you him. saw him? Mm. Ah, the one from Minewe. Is it not that one with the big tummy that looks like a pot? Ah! <laughs> you saw him? I saw him oh, am I mad? <laughs> if I, am I mad to settle for, for, for a man that looks like a, a six month old pregnant woman? I'm too beautiful for that. I'm too beautiful for that. Oh. I know. Ah, mother, you're here. No, 
Sarah, what in the world are you doing? Nothing much. I'm just chatting away with a friend in the US. Your father demands your presence at once. Okay, I'll be right there. We're all for that data. Also, so. Off it. He wants to see you now. Mother, there's something wrong. Well, I do not know if he wants to kill you or not. Come, let's go. Hey, don't keep us waiting. Okay. <laughs> How did the meeting with your father go? Was your sister able to give the reason she was rejecting all her sitters? I hope you all don't expect me. The beautiful princess Ma. The only princess of this great kingdom. To stoop so low as to accepting those men coming for my hand in marriage. Those were your daughter's words to your husband. I beg your pardon. <laughs> and what did the king say to her? What do you expect him to say? She said she has not found the one, the right man to make her husband. Are we supposed to bundle her and hand her over to some stranger? No, ma'am. Now have you seen it? That's the reason I refused to be in that meeting. I would have lost my temper and given her a hot slap. Mom, no one slaps the princess of this kingdom. Remember? Meaning? Not when she keeps behaving like an untrained local dog. Going around the street, sleeping with anything she sees, and then comes back here to pretend as if she hasn't seen her choice. Now, what is your problem? My problem is that you should advise your daughter, your useless daughter, to uselessly go and find a husband for herself. I mean, we should know how many we are in this palace. You are in your husband's house. I am in my husband's house. I mean, what is all this? I shouldn't even be telling you this because as a mother, you should advise your daughter properly. And as a mother, you know the things that a woman should do at the early hours of her age. Women are like flower that blossoms in their prime and should get married in that prime of theirs. If she refuses to get married now, <laughs> it wouldn't be long, my darling. She is definitely going to get old and you know what that means. She's not going to be just useless. She'll even be more useless than you have ever taught. Nonsense. Excuse me. Mom, if she continues interrupting our conversations like this, I will strangle her one day. Mean it. What is wrong with the princess? The reason she has refused to marry any of her numerous suitors is what I cannot comprehend. What is happening? <sighs>
young man said your name is uh Chinedu Okafo. Chinedu Okafo. Igwe, I am from Newe. A well known big businessman. Um and Mary Machin Path, now called Newe. I see. And um you are really doing great. You go by special grace of God. Working a better in any affair and working well, yeah. I'm a successful businessman. Uh, I'm an importer. Now I'm going near with not to my part. And then we sell shops. A benny in the uncle. Hmm. Wonderful. What um about the young man with you? Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, Igwe, this is Obiora. Yeah, uh, what hmm? He's an importer. Now, one day we, hmm, what can I do? Um, piston and rings. Hmm. Now, Japan. Odogu. It's wonderful. You guys have really carved a niche for yourselves. You are welcome. Um, Lolo. I get you for you. Yeah? Yeah. Let's um go into Colonot. Yeah. Um there are three seats of Colonot there. You have to take one. For the Colonot grows voice once it gets home. Surely say where it is coming from. So, take one there. You go, Henke Lika. Hmm? Mana, so bad. I'm Joe, what I call you. Wendy, you did it. I'm going to go on the Kawaii for Taro. All right. Um, in our tradition, Kola notes are never broken without a prayer. So let's pray. Egade. 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 As in I got there. He said. I got there. He said. God in heaven. You are in heaven as your abode. And use the earth as your footstool. You are actually sitting up there while your garment feel of the earth. Doesn't mean you wear oversized, but that is how great and glorious you are. We therefore pray for good fortune, good health, good wealth. It shall be well with all of us. It's well with you, it's well with you, it's well with you and myself. And this I pray. Especially, this your journey to this palace shall be a wonderful thing, a memorable one, shall be a celebration. This I speak, and so shall it be. Yes, uh -huh. <clears throat> um, all right. <clears throat> You are a good thing. Um, you go. <clears throat> My friend here, Iduna China, confided to me that he saw a beautiful flower in your palace, which he would love to pluck. Oh, that? That credit should go to my gardener. He planted so many beautiful flowers around the palace. But I want you to further explain to me. Let me know the particular flower around the palace you want. Igwe, my friend here is a big fish. He's a man of few words. Edu has come to seek for your daughter's hand in marriage. 
Oh. <laughs> I almost asked when you say he's a big fish, if he's a fish that feeds some flowers. <laughs> Eventually, you're here to marry my daughter. Yes. So welcome development. I welcome that. Yeah? You're welcome. Uh, Lolo, you have to bring our daughter. Please, bring her. And um, uh, Chinedu, um, you must have known my son. He is Prince Ikenna. He's the managing director of the Miro Publishing Company, the Royal Company. Yeah, we know. Hello. Uh, mm, I'm one we know him. Mm. Um, he's actually a twin brother to the person you are coming to marry, the princess. Igwe, I do my work. I have to do it. Tinya, look, I need to go near. We must not be able to go to the beach. Okay, now you are able to go. Oh, here she comes. Uh, Princess Emma of Oboroma Kingdom. Father. Mum. <laughs> My daughter, you're welcome. Um, we have visitors from Newi. Okay. Um, greetings, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Uh. <coughs> um, Chinedu here. Come to ask your hand in marriage. Um, father. Which of them? Uh, uh, my princess, in our yard. It's me, you do not try and work in a better than working. Huh? Huh? Look at what you can work in a better than working. You don't need to ask that question because now you can hear me. I'm the one. Hmm? I'm the one. 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 So, um, my princess, should I go ahead and accept what they came with? Igwe, you don't need to ask all these things, eh? When are we coming? I don't know. 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 I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be Um, no, Father. What? I'm not interested. My presence, do you know do you know who you are talking to? Also, please go one na China. Importa. Machine parts. All machine parts said that they will not move on to you. You will go away from me. Huh? You will regret this. Father, please excuse me. Are you? Are you? Ah, you are leaving. You will. She's walking away. You go. Why he go there? Huh? Oh God. Obiora. Huh? Um. 
Well, what she's trying to say is that she is not interested. And that's it. Me? I do not China. Now, to my same part, I'm going to go to the woman. Hi. He had a mistake. He went. He went. Is your daughter aware of what she's about to miss? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Chinedu. I will talk to her. You better do. You better do. What do you want here? Because the man who can't be committed. Hmm? But where? Mako may regret here. He need to go and work on up before we even hear no sense from Nadia. Gabros, the whole importer, no one can live with. Now to mash him part, man and Nadia. Eh? We be on the call here. Bapu yoku, okay, regret the way. Um, uh, what about the drink? Why has the princess refused to settle down? Why? What must be the cause? Is she under a spell or a curse? Long live, my king. You're welcome. Akataka, the strange being with four eyes, the seer of both good and evil spirits. Akataka, you are a fortune teller. You are a teller of the fortunes. Akataka, please, reveal before the king, unfold to me what spirit it is that has taken hold of my daughter, the princess of Obodoma kingdom. Yes. <laughs> My king, what is it that troubles you? Hakataka, but I have told you that already. My daughter, my daughter is, my daughter is giving me a very big problem. Hakataka, my house is on fire.
gods of my fathers reveal to me that which is worrying my king. He wishes to know why his daughter, the princess, has been chasing away suitors. Am I right? You are correct, Takataka. Exactly. My king. Yes. All I see is death and calamity besiege the royal palace. Death, calamity. <sighs> Kataka, greatest seer of our time. Whose death is it you see? Gods did not say. All I foresee is blood. 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 All over the royal palace, my king. Hakataka. Hakataka, are you sure of what you saw? My king, that is an insult on my profession. Akataka does not say what he did not see. Akataka, there is no gain saying. You are indeed a great seer. But Akataka, you know, India Musu can sometimes influence the divining mirror, and the result will be a deceiving and misleading message. And when that happens, Akataka, you know what it means. It means a great disaster to the entire kingdom. Check this very well. My king, I've just told you what the gods I should say to you. The least you can do is to work on the information I've given to you. Akataka, Akataka, you cannot leave me in the dark. I mean, I mean, you have not talked about why I called you. Is it the death you see? Is it that of my daughter? Is the princess about to die? My king, your daughter is fine. There is nothing wrong with her. She's very fine. Then whose death is it you foresaw? Akataka, I'm still waiting for an answer. This, 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 this is just one thing about this years. It will only leave you dazed and more confused. Why has he come here since he has nothing to say? Seen nothing. The great Akataka. Seen nothing. Because of our ancestors. What am I doing?
welcome to the New York Publishing Company. How can I help you? Yeah, my name is Frank. I'm calling from Sukan. Well, okay, Mr. Frank. How can we help you, sir? All right, I am. Um, Try the University of Nigeria. Okay. And uh, I have some novels and uh, books that I want your company to publish on. Then I'm guessing you want us to buy your manuscript for publishing, right? Exactly. Well, sir, we have a process for accepting manuscript from authors. Alright, which is? First off, there is a payment you have to make for the editors to be able to read your manuscript and also find out if it is publishable and if it is it will be published but if it's not i'm sorry your money will not be refundable i hope you understand that sir good i would um advise you come over to the office so we can discuss further on this and um, also know the terms and conditions before we proceed satisfied by me well, thank you very much, sir, for calling the Miro Publishing Company, and we hope to do business with you soon. Do have a nice day, bro. Do have a nice day, sir. Bye. Mm. Ah. Mom. Ah, my daddy. Mm. You're welcome. Greetings, mom. Yes, greetings too. So, how was your day? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> nice. Mom. Yes, darling. You're looking so beautiful. <laughs> uh, like this? Of course, yes. Uh, I think you're getting younger by the day. Now, nah, you started. No, I'm not. Stop I'm, flattering. I'm not playing. Stop it. <laughs> Mom, I'm not flattering you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, yes, what sir. are we having for dinner? Ah, that was even the reason I came downstairs. We're having pounded yam and a goosey soup. Oh, my favorite. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now I I'm know. hungry. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. I'll just go to the kitchen and check what they're doing. All right. Mm. Now, what is keeping the food is taking so much time. It's almost ready. I'm sorry. My son is back. He's really hungry and needs to eat now. So hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't wait. Mm, the smell I love. Mm. Ah, super nice. Ifanaya, what are you doing? Greetings. Greetings, what are you doing? Please, you have to leave whatever it is you're doing here and prepare my favorite. You already know my favorites, so I don't need to tell you. Go ahead, prepare right now because I'm really famished. I need to eat. And why are you moping at me like a goat head? I just told you to do something for me and you're looking at me. Get started! Quelo Lako, are you okay? Even I have you suddenly gone daft. I am talking to you and you're still standing. Now, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? When I got in here, I did not talk to you. Why are you interfering in what I'm telling her? I don't understand. You are a queen in this palace. So I am. Yeah. And I believe that if you issue orders, you want it to be carried out almost immediately. Same do I want mine to be carried out. I am hungry and I need her to make me food now. Well, I can see you are here for trouble, but I do not have your time. Hey. Please continue with what you were doing. Please <laughs> ignore this mad dog. What? Did you just call me a mad dog? Of course. Oh, you're calling me a mad dog, forgetting that you are a daughter of a lunatic. Hey, I beg your pardon. You heard me. Now you watch your tongue, young lady, before I slap you. I'm old enough to be your mother. Am I your mate? Oh, oh, oh my God, what did you just say? Please don't even talk about you and I being mates. Because as far as we are married to the same man, we are mates, Lolo. 
And we're not just married to the same man. We share the same cucumber. Cuckoo! Why am I even standing here discussing all this nonsense with you? Do you know what? Lola, I actually want to see you do your worst. Your worst! What are you doing? You're making it. My goodness! And you, begin to make my food right now! Sammy! People! Begin to make my food! Let me watch you not do it! I'll kill you right now, and I'll bury you! Lolo, you and Queen Olaqua are seen in a hoodlum in the royal kitchen. May I know what brought about the commotion? All right, my husband. I went to the kitchen to check what Ifunanya was preparing. My son came back and told me that he was hungry. So as I went to the kitchen to ask her to, you know, hessing out with whatever thing she was doing in there, only for Quinolaco to badge in. And ordered Ifunanya to stop whatever thing I asked her to do and to, you know, pick up with what she wanted her to do. She started mentioning a lot of things. Fry this for me, fry plantain, fry goat, fry whatever. What is all this? Does it mean she doesn't have respect for elders? Yes, she is a co-wife. I know that. But she is my younger wife. Is that really what happened? That's what happened. What's insolence? Um, Ifunanya, mm -hmm. you had Lolo. Is that exactly what happened? Exactly what the Lolo said, my king. Mm. Oh, get out, you nitwit. You can leave. Thank you. Nitwit. Kenulako, tell me what actually transpired. Your Majesty, I equally have the right to issue orders in this palace, for I am also a queen. Not just a queen, but the only legitimate queen of this kingdom. But that does not answer my question. She issues out orders. The maidens carry them out. I issue mine. I mean, when has it become an offense? When? Oh, you threw in my pot of a goosey soup away. You do not see that? As an offense? Queen Olaf, are you mad or something? I mean, are you, are you sure you're not losing it? I'm not losing anything, Your Majesty. I am totally sane. And I think the only person who has actually lost it here is one person. So this question of yours should be directed to your vegetable of a son. I beg your pardon? Yes, you heard me, mother. It should be directed to your vegetable of a son who has blatantly refused to get married. Rather, he has chosen to be into his fellow man. I'm ashamed. Are you, in some way, calling me the prince of this great kingdom a homosexual? He just mentioned it. He just mentioned it. Exactly. I mean, not just that. Oh, why are you moping at me like that? Is that not what you do? Are you not a... Uh, okay. That is what you do! Or do you want me to go further to explain to your mother and the king? Prove to them that that is what you do. The prince now on to... Are you mad? No, 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 Are you mad? It's okay. Mom, you heard her call me a homosexual. That's not what you are. Did you hear that, Mom? So, what is she talking about? Are you asking me that question, Father? You had her say this in your presence. Father! You heard her call me a homosexual! And here you are asking me if I am! I'm disappointed in you, Father. I'm out of here. Without due respect to your majesty, I'm equally disappointed in you. What sort of stupid question was that? You left 
Tamara's hand only for you to ask our son such nonsense question. No, no. You heard Queen Ola say this. Does he look like one? I, 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 I don't know what to believe. this about? Where is all this coming from? What has gotten into Olaku? What devil entered into her? Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have told her about, about my strange Prince Eric. Which no way, okay. My princess. Ah, Queen Olaco, it's you. It's me, my darling. How are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. I hope there's no problem. Of course not. Because as you can see, I'm talking to someone very special. Someone very special? Mm -hmm. I see that the special one is the reason you have been full of life lately. That's amazing though. <laughs> yes, you're right. And I'm hoping positively that he brings us wine. <laughs> Kaingo Charlie on my Nisigi, you know, it's very important. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Also, my princess, I was uh, going to discuss something very important with you. Oh. So I'm hoping you can, you know, oblige me to, you know, give me some audience so that we can talk. Um, I don't think that will be possible now. As you can see, I'm talking with my fiance, so we can do that much later. Your fiance? That's a big yes. word to use, my princess. Because it's quite impossible for the princess of this great kingdom to be engaged without the members of this family knowing about your engagement. Okay, please. I'm just telling you this now. Do not let the cat out of the bag. Listen, I actually want it to be a surprise to the royal family. So please don't say anything. Okay, I'll tell you about him. I actually met this guy on Facebook. He liked my pictures. I liked his pictures. He sent me friend requests. I actually did accept that. And I went through his pictures. It was cute. But initially, it was just friendship. Well, later, he asked for a relationship. And I accepted. Wait, if I get you correctly, you are trying to tell me that you accepted a relationship with a man you have never seen or met. Um, well, something like that. But we actually do video calls. We do video calls all the time. And he's, yes, he's a prince. 
from a certain kingdom. A prince. Can you imagine? Me and a prince. A princess. <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> to interfere. I mean, you said this person is online now? You're yes. chatting with him? Yes, of course. Right now. I'm talking with him. Please, can I see his picture? No. No. Why are you doing this, my prince? Why are you refusing me access to see our future in-law? Come on, we are still going to see him, right? So just let me see how he looks. <laughs> mm, Queen Olaco. Mm. You know you always have your way with words. But don't worry, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. Ah. I know, you're amazed, it's cute, right? The look on your face. Eric. Eric. Prince, Eric. Holy Moses, what stupid Prince. Eric. Yeah, wonder shall never end. Listen, my princess, you need to know this. This man is fake. Eric is a facade. No. He is no prince of any kingdom. Okay, let's, if you want to know if I'm telling you the truth or I'm teasing you. Did he tell you that he lives in the US? Yes. Did he tell you that he's a citizen of the United States of America and he is the only child of his parents? Yes. Did he also tell you that he's a medical practitioner in the States? Yes. <laughs> you haven't even seen anything yet. Queen Alaku, how come you know so much about Prince Eric? Hold on. Come in. Take a look at this. No, just, you can have the phone. Look at this properly. Look. Look. Is that not Eric? Uh, yes. Eric, who would he even propose to you it's, online? I'm calling him a prince. Same way he saw your beautiful picture, slided into your DM and started asking you out. Same way he came to me as well. He asked me out, asked me to marry him. And I believe that is the same way he would also be, you know, sending messages to so many desperate girls out there. No. 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 It's... This can't be possible. Well, it is possible. It is the truth. I know it's very, very difficult for you to accept the truth. It is bitter, but you have to accept it, my princess. This guy is fake. No. Wait. Did he... Did he ever tell you to send him some certain amount of money in Nigerian currency? How did you know? Because he did the same to me. I hope you did not send him any money, my princess. <gasps> What? I, I sent him. Ah! I, I did. 500,000 naira. You're in, my princess. Oh. You're so in. He, he said he, he wanted to send the money to some shipping agent. He asked to deliver a Ferrari to me and uh, he. he, he, he he didn't want to pay the agent in dollars. He also said that he was going to send me a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars, which you know is a huge amount of money here. That's his usual way. Oh no. I'm, not, I'm not surprised it is. It, 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 it's the truth. Please, you have to accept it. I know it's difficult, but it is. My princess, this same guy said a lot to me. All these things you're saying, I already know. He is a criminal. That was how he sent me an account number that he wanted me to send a certain amount of money into the account. But I'm a smart woman. I refused to send the money to your account number he forwarded to me. Then he got very angry and blocked me. For real? Yeah. <sighs> holy Moses. Yeah, holy Moses. Because Moses is actually holy there. That's the truth, my darling. So just, um, oh, but my princess, I never expected this from you. I thought you were wise. 
I mean, how could you have fallen so much for this? Oh, goodness. Well, I wouldn't blame you. You probably fell in love. It is okay. Shit happens. Um, I think it's high time I left, okay? I'll just leave you alone to digest the truth. You have to digest it and accept it. I'll live in peace. Oh, goodness. You see that man? He would not die well. Eric would not die well. No. But he said he was a priest. No, this can't be possible. What have I done to myself? Ah, priestess, my, you're such a fool. You're such a damn fool. That he has been using to call me on WhatsApp it does not even exist anymore. Ah, no, 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 this is not happening. <laughs> no.
mindset. The princess, are you all right? What's wrong? You don't look fine to me. My God, look at your face and your eyes. They are so swollen. What bothers you, my princess? Even if you can't talk to me, your personal maid, it's fine. But at least I just want you to let you know, whatever it is that's bothering you, it's not worth it. Just let it go. Please, my princess. You will be fine. That I know. You will. Let it go. You will be fine. Just help me. <laughs> Stressing yourself over nothing. You're getting all worked up. She doesn't deserve this. I mean, come on. There, there, there is a critical situation at the palace, and you expect me to do nothing just to keep calm. Your daughter is a mature woman. She will fix herself. Allow her to handle the problem she created for herself. How, how do you mean? What I'm trying to say is that your daughter, Princess Mma, is the biggest fool in the whole universe. Uh, watch your tongue, woman. Just watch your tongue. I'm not the cause of it. She got herself into it, so she will have to fix it. She, she got herself into what, if I may ask? <clears throat> You seem to know what troubles my daughter, just as the prince said earlier. Your Majesty, it is late. Rest your bones and allow her sort herself out. She will definitely come over it. Good night. You said the princess got herself into what exactly? Good night, Your Majesty. You you are not talking. Is there something you are not telling me? For how long do I have to suffer in the hands of that, that lady that calls herself my father's wife? Come to think of it, is my brother really a homosexual? No, 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 no. Molako, where did you get that from? I haven't really seen my brother with any female before. to fix. But I just can't pinch my toe of what I'm not sure of. Father, that young woman has beaten more than she could chew. 
How can she stand before the king of Obodoma Asian Kingdom to say that my mother is not your wife? Son, please calm down. Don't ask me to calm down, father. I'm losing it. Is there something you're not telling me? She pointed out that my mother is not your wife. Is that true, father? You're silent again. I remember vividly well I confronted you on why you married Queen Uluaka, knowing full well that my mother had a son and a daughter for you. And up till this moment, you have not given me a concrete reason for that action. Son, I married Queen Ola because I love her. Huh. Talking about love, how can you claim to love two women at the same time, father? Little wonder you have been supporting and condoling her excesses in this palace. Ikena, you don't talk to the king in such a tone. My king, call your wife to order. The next time she behaves stupid towards my mother, I promise you I will show her the other side of me. So, please. Allow me handle this. I will. Like you're going to do anything to her? Don't worry. The next time she behaves silly towards my mother again, I promise you, I will take care of her my way. That your silence have said it all, that you know what she's talking about. Why are you not saying anything to your own daughter? Why? All I can say is that it's not Olaka's fault. That's exactly what you've been saying, mother. That's exactly what you've been saying. It's not exactly a fault that you are not my father's wife or what? Then tell me what I'm supposed to know, Mother. Else, I will go comfort Father in a way that no one respect until he tells me what I'm supposed to know. And if he doesn't tell me, I will go comfort that loud-mouthed barren witch until she tells me what I'm supposed to know. And if she doesn't tell me, I will have to go visit the members of the elders in council until I get to the root of this matter. I need you to come. Olaku, what came over you? Your Majesty, I said what I said. And trust me, I have no regret about that. Oh, Olaku, you got me angry. And I've, I've come to discover that a secret once with a woman is no longer a secret. Olaku, why is your tongue so loose? Do you know what you have done to this royal family by divulging such a secret that shouldn't be told? Your Majesty, who said it shouldn't be told? I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with what I said. That I, Olako, I am your only legitimate wife. Now will you shut up? I don't know why you're telling me to shut up. What have I done? What have I done wrong? Olako. You still have the nerves to ask a silly question. Oh, goodness. Really, Your Majesty, I thought you came in here to discuss something very important with me. Honestly. But I see you're here to quarrel me over trivia issues. 
Come on. Trivial, you say? You call this a trivial issue that a woman I paid a right price is challenging me. You haven't really said anything important to me, Your Majesty. It's like you have nothing to say. That you like to sit down. But you have nothing to say ever since you got in here. You've just not said anything. I have been working my ass out since afternoon and I haven't rested. I need to, to, to freshen up and have a rest. Eh? You have not said anything tangible. Who like? Between you and Lolo, who is the eldest? Oh. I asked you a question. I just asked you. Between you both, who is older, but that question seems rather too difficult for you to answer. No, Your Majesty. The question is not difficult for me to answer. I can actually answer the question, but I see it as a rhetorical question because you know that she is far older than I am. So why are you asking me? Good. Have you ever heard this adage that anyone who starts cooking first before the other always possesses broken utensils than the later? I knew that's what you're going to say. I've always known though. But I tell you something, Your Majesty. An avid traveler is wiser than someone with a gray hair. Ah. Uh, Ulako, are you rather insinuating that you are wiser than law? My king, we are in a dynamic world and people shouldn't remain static. Otherwise, you will be left in a place. You see where you make this mistake. My dear wife, no child teaches a grandmother on how to suckle. Imagine what you say and expect ears to listen. That a wife, I took the royal train with my friends, went to her father's house paid her bright price. She'll talk when I am talking and you think it is good because according to you, the world is dynamic. A reasonable person should only take what is good in the modern civilization and let go the, the, the hyenas and barbaric ones. Listen, our forefathers lived long Enjoy their marriages, even with numerous wives, simply because their wives are submissive to them. I only told you that secret because you were pressurizing me, and now you use it against law. But the truth must be told, Your Majesty. Ulaku, you must, as a matter of urgency, apologize to law. Never. I'd rather die. What do you say? I'm sorry, Lola. Sincerely, I'm sorry. Did I hear you say you were sorry, Your Majesty? Yes, really, I am. How could you? How could you have divulged a secret kept for 36 years from the children to your so-called wife. I ask you, where in the world does she touch you that made you open your mouth so wide? I'm sorry, my love. I'm, just forgive me, please. I'm sorry. You should leave the room. With ignominy. You can't break the trust with impunity. You gave her the right to insult my children and I so much. <laughs> and I'm sure this wasn't the only thing you told her. As far as I'm concerned, you, you've said a lot of things so far. So. My love, I didn't say any other thing, but I must tell you, I didn't even know what she did to me. I explain what actually transpired. Anyway, you got married to her. So what? Hmm? I allowed you to do your wish because you are the Igwe. 
You wanted a younger wife. Maybe in your eyes I am. Oh, fine, who cares? Now the very one I allowed you bring into this palace. Things and fuse otherwise. She feels I should run so far and hide my face. Why? Because, according to her, she's your only L-E-G-I-T-I-M-A-T-E, your legitimate wife. Is that not it, Your Majesty? Auntie, please. Mm. I'm sorry. Please forgive her. Please. Mm -hmm. There is a saying. In preparing an antidote for the eyes, Pepe shouldn't be added to it. In other words, you are not supposed to be here apologizing on her behalf, whereas she goes about in the palace making so much noise in the air, not minding whose horse is correct. She erred against my children and I and should be the one apologizing, not you. My love, believe me, I will get her to do the needful. I will make sure she apologizes. What are you talking about, Your Majesty? Should we go sing a panacheric for her so she can continue feeling somewhat? Hmm? You're the one who craved for a younger wife of your own. I allowed you. So in return, I should be the one tolerating her excesses, taking her insults each passing day. Your Majesty, need I remind you that I'm the one who gave birth to your two lovely children prince and princess whereas your so-called queen has none which gives me an edge i want you to tell her that uh, 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 it, it's, okay. it's okay oh no it's not okay sir oh no if it were to be okay you and i wouldn't be here talking about this i decided to stay the hell away from you and your so-called wife since three days now. Hence, she insults her mother and not me. But listen, I am done. I'm done taking her insults. My love, listen, nothing of such will ever happen again. Trust mm -hmm. me on that. Mm -hmm. I know. Which is why you should go get her to apologize. Your Majesty, I am done having this meeting with you. It's all right. My Prince. No. What you do? Oh no. Uh, my prince. Yeah, welcome once again. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to watch you, but you don't eat this kind of cola. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh no. Uh -huh. My father, your nephew, has succeeded in bringing this unity into the royal family. What? How do you mean, my prince? Queen Olaku bluntly said that she is my father's only legitimate wife. What? Hey! She ignited chaos in the royal family just to drop the shulker. Hey! You couldn't want that because. Queen Olaku. Who must have told her this? Who could have told her all that? Eh? I know. Who told her this is not my problem. The question is, is it true? Is what true? Is what true, my prince? Is Okoyara true? Is a mad woman's uh, worst true? Oh, no. 
You are my late grandfather's twin brother. That is correct. And as such, your family. You know yeah. a lot about this family than we do. So I would like to know if it is true. Because my father wouldn't say a word about this. Neither would my mother do. <sighs> my prince. Go home and talk to your father, the king. Yes. Go home and talk to him. Oh no, my father is your nephew. Your very little nephew. Yes. And you have been on Mother Ed's longer than we have. <sighs> Zikin, I still insist you go, go to him, your father, the king. Go and talk with him, reason with him. Yes. By that you mean you're not saying a word. Hence, my visit will be considered an exercise in futility. I will leave. Oh no. But the rest assured I will be back when you are ready to talk. Goodbye, President Kenna. Goodbye. Have a good day, you know. Goodbye. <laughs> Findings all these years I've been on Earth, I have discovered that most of the problems people pass through are caused by the people themselves. This royal family had been like a little broom of Guaziza and Afriya Bajabaji. To the extent that even the foes fear tampering with their peace. Because no one that has antagonized the royal family have been able to succeed. Igwe, you are the proverbial lizard that spoils his own mother's funeral. Oh no, she vowed to me. She promised to keep it to herself. She promised to keep it to herself. And you believe that? I still insist you shouldn't have told her at all. You can't stop a woman's mouth from talking. You can't shut her mouth. Wenulak disappointed me and I must burn 
each heart duly for that very you action. You should not even expect her to keep quiet. How do you expect her to hold it to herself? When you know frightfully well that she is the only one that was legitimately married by you. Eh? Don't you think that one way or the other she must always try to display that arrogance before Lola or claim supremacy over her? Over her? Eh? Look at what you have cost yourself. Eh? I should, I should have thought about that. Your Majesty, I am sorry to say this. You have simply disappointed your ancestors. You have disappointed their forefathers. Even your father, in whose throne you have ascended. Eh? By this similar act, you have simply disgraced everybody in this lineage. I oh, know. She touched me where nobody has ever touched me. And to be sincere, I didn't even know where, where when I started saying what I shouldn't have said. Even Lolo has never taken me to that point. Hi. And before you know, I said everything. Didn't you know that those things behind her waist is like an ocean? So she took into the ocean, you swore, you, 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 you swim the ocean. And forgot your present and past. Eh? And you were able to expose such very important truth to her. Until thing got into your middle of Blanket. That is what I was about to tell you. I didn't even know. And you scattered the secret, secrecy of an entire throne like this. How do you think you are going to come over this? Eh? For your information, Igwe, this is an age-long tradition. A tradition that had been there before our forefathers. It is not mandatory. It's not by force. It is entered willingly. It is something that you cannot force somebody to do. I, I, I seriously do not know what came of our life. You are at the center of it all. No matter the pressure from a woman, as a man you are, you have to withstand and resist it. Secret is secret. It's not meant for lilliputs. It's not meant for spoons. It's not meant for, for little minds. It's a business of men. Do you know that as a particular secret? <laughs> between my late twin brother, your father, and myself here, which must not be had anywhere. No matter the pressures. Do you know it? No. We are three that we are bound by that oath. And to, as of today, I am the only one that is still alive. You say the, the utmost secret you said. Yes. And the very day I opened this my mouth and tell anyone will mark the end of my life in this planet Earth. The man should learn to keep secret. The throne requires secretivism. It's a very serious business. Throne. Kingdom business is a very serious business. I should be managed by men of timber and caliber, men who are right, right in their thinking. People that are that are rugged and dogged. Why must you succumb to a woman's antics? Your Highness. You're here, my king. <laughs> and I was actually busy looking for you in your chamber. Olako, oh, have you suddenly lost your manners that you no longer give your best dance before the king? Oh, that. Sorry. It didn't happen again. I've heard that a thousand times from you. You even said it yesterday. Oh, come on, my king. It was yesterday. You don't have to remind me of what I said, because I know exactly what I said. State why you are here and leave me in peace. 
I have come to collect the two million naira asked to view for my hairdo, manicure, and pedicure. Oh, really? Yes. You are here to ask for money where the fire you said burning in the palace is here to quench. I don't understand, my king. Fire is burning in the palace? So how am I, how am I supposed to be the one to quench the fire already burning? You are my husband, the king, and the head of the royal family. You should be the one to quench the fire. Why drag me into it? Ulako. Ulako, you lack good home training from your mother. Oh, please, your majesty. Must you drag my mother into this as well? Give us some respect. Ulako, a woman is known not because she is garrulous or interrupts her husband whenever he talks. A good woman is a passive listener. Now listen. Good habit is difficult to adopt, but easy to live with. Oh, I don't know. I, I caused it. It's my fault for telling you what I shouldn't have told you. You jeer at me for accepting to marry Lolo, whom I uh, inherited from my father. But let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen her talk back at me? Have you ever seen her stand before me with her hands akimbo to talk? These are the qualities she possesses which you do not have. Oh, please, your majesty, I haven't come here for all of this sermon. I've only come to collect the money. Give it to me and let me go. Hmm. Ulako, go to the prince and he will... No, 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 no. I won't meet him. I, will, if, I won't do it this time, your, your majesty, please. He's not my husband. You are my husband. I mean, when will all this nonsense stop? You are the CEO of the Miro Publishing Company and not him. And the prince is the MD of the publishing company. No dime leaves the company without him being aware and signing it. Igwe, I'm not meeting the prince. Meet with him. Sign it. And give me the money. That's all I ask of you. I mean, why will I keep meeting him each time I want to buy anything for myself? I want to buy panties, I have to meet the prince. I have to buy bra for myself. I have to meet the prince. Even be and sanitary part. I have to meet the prince. No, your majesty. You see, this time, I would not have to meet the prince to have money from my husband. I wouldn't. Olak, I say it. Go and meet the prince. Igwe. But I would do no such thing. Since you wouldn't greet me, why are you here? I am your father's wife, Ikena, and also your stepmom. I don't understand. Should I be the one to greet you? Huh? Hold it right there. This is my office, another palace where you exhibit your madness. Oh, I see. So tell me why you're here and leave so I can get back to work. Well, I have come here for you to tell your accountant to sign the sum of three million naira for me which my husband, the CEO of the Miro Publishing Company, asked me to come collect. Well, my father said two million, and now you're telling me three million. Well, that's by the way. Now tell me, what's that money meant for? What sort of stupid question is that? I mean, what sort of silly question are you asking me? You know, you should watch your mouth and don't talk trivial. This is my office. Hmm. The office of the Prince of Obodoma Kingdom. The managing director of the Miro Publishing Company. Then you should respect yourself. Respect your mouth and stop asking me silly questions. I mean, you, 
I'm here to just collect ordinary three million naira. You're questioning me as if you're giving me a hundred million. What's that? Huh? Very well then. Tell my father that I'm not giving you a damn until you tell me what's going You really dare not. Me. My husband has sent me here and you would give me that money. Listen, I don't have all day. I am supposed to be somewhere now. Not being here, tongue combat with my fellow woman. What did you just say? You heard me, you are daft. What nonsense did you just peel out from your gutter mouth now? Give me the money and let me leave. Get out. What? I said get out of my office, now! How dare you ask the only legitimate queen of the king of Obodama kingdom to leave her husband's office? What gods? You must be very mad. I won't throw you out myself. You would not. You ask for it. Hey, don't touch me. Get out. Hey. Prince Ikenna, give her whatever money she's asking for. Please, let me have some rest. Yes, give her. Father, I'm not giving Ulako any money. She doesn't have manners. Imagine coming to my office to call me names and insult me. And I say it. Just read my lips. Forget whatever it is she must have said to you and give her the money. Father, I've had enough of Pinula. Alright? She can go to hell for all I care. Ikenna, you have to obey me, your father. You have to obey me. I just made my point. No money for Pinula. And that's final. She should learn how to talk to people and not try to insult every member of the royal family. What nonsense. Hello, hello. Hello. We no like we want to cause catastrophe in this family. What has she not done? What is it left for her to do? It's not as if it's not as if I'm supporting whatever she's doing. President, now how could you disobey me? Prince's father. I sent my queen to you and you pushed her out of the office in such a violent manner. Father, please, I beg you. I do not have the strength and time for this argument. I insist you give her the money for whatever, for her whatever, whatever she, she, she needs to do. Give her the money. Well, Father, it is obvious that you want to tear this royal family apart. Your forefathers maintained peace and unity in their time. And now it gets to your turn. You want to destroy the legacy, the beauty? You can, uh, I am your father, and you don't talk to me in that manner. Well, Father, it is your duty to knit this royal family with peace love and unity but unfortunately the reverse is the case Prince Ikenna, why not give her the money and stop all this drama well father i have paid rigorous attention to details and now i can tell that you have given queen ulaku the right to insult each and every one of us in this royal palace this is the reason why I kicked against this in the first place. But no, you insisted you needed a younger wife. Now you've succeeded in destroying the one thing the royal family stands for, peace and unity. Great. Son, what exactly did Queen Olaku tell you at your face that made you insist on not giving her the You should have asked her that first, before taking sides. But no problem. Keep taking sides. I promise you this, Father. 
One day, I will beat the hell out of her and damn the consequences. I need to take a call back. Prince Ikenna, come back here. I do not have the strength and time to talk about your queen, Onako. I had a very stressful day at work today. I need to rest. Please. I know. I was only asking for obvious reasons. What obvious reasons exactly? You told me the other day that she needed two million naira. Yes, which is why I sent her to you. She actually needs the money for her hairdo and some upkeeps. Hairdo? And upkeeps? Yes. Two million naira. Son, you would have given her the money. What is that? Just two million. Well, she came to my office today to create a scene. How? She came there and asked that I sign out three million naira for her. Three million? Why? I said two. Why three? What for is not my problem. But insulting and abusing me in my office before my staff is totally unacceptable. So I had to push her out. What? Oh, yes, I did. So. It is true you actually pushed my queen. Yes, father. I pushed her out. As a matter of fact, I should have asked the security man to bundle her out instead. Are you mad? You pushed my queen and you are here saying nonsense. As if that is not enough. You are threatening me. You pushed the queen of Ubudoma kingdom. She's not the queen. Says who? My mother is. She is my queen because I married her. And then my mother? Didn't you marry my mother? And she gave birth to two children. And then your so-called wife. What did she give birth to? Tell me. Not even an imbecile. Will you shut up? Keep quiet! You see, Father, it's obvious that you are the one triggering Queen Olako to be behaving absurdly in this palace. It is obvious you want to raise down this palace. And trust me, I will help you do that very soon. This palace will go up in flames. I promise you that. Are you, are you, are you out of your mind? How dare you talk to me, talk to the king in that manner? Father, I am the managing director of Miro Publishing Company. And as such, I see to the affairs of the company. I take proper inventory of the money that comes in and goes out of the company account. So, I am the director of my company even while I am not on seat. I dish out instructions as to day-to-day -day affairs of the company, and I expect my orders to be followed to the teeth. Do not ever, do not challenge my instructions. Do you understand that? Fine. Very well, Father. I tender my resignation. Hey, 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 don't try that. Don't dare me. Don't dare threaten me. Yes, Father. I resign. Manage your company. Oh, don't dare walk out of me. You better sign the money she needs. 
and you do that tomorrow morning now resign now resign you are resigning resigning for who to take over I have only two of you you and your sister your sister is marrying away and then now resign my friend give her the money and continue in your office your father asked you to do. Hmm? And what are you talking about, Mom? We overheard him telling you to give his wife the sum of two million naira. Do it. Well, he can go ahead and sign out the money to her. I already think that my resignation Oh no. You won't do it in like that. You know your father needs you in that company. Mother. Father might not be doing this with his clear eyes. We all know Olaku. We know what she's capable of doing. Mother, please stop. She hasn't done anything to your father. Listen to me, sweetheart. I want to save you. Mother, this is not coming from you. You cannot simply concord to what father said. Your father is a king. And you cannot flaunt his orders. Even at that, mother. Even at that. As far as I am concerned, father might not even know what he's doing. Hey, you keep quiet! I wasn't even talking to you in the first place. You go tell Patricia to serve dinner. Do it now. <clears throat> well, I am not hungry. Hey, sweetheart. Are you not going to do dinner? Mom, I am tired. I had the most hectic day at work. And I had the most annoying argument with father. I need to go in. Take a cold shower and sleep. <laughs> oh, mother. Mother. How do you expect a demoralized prince with a whole lot of things in his mind to do dinner? All his effort to get the company going is not even being appreciated. And you expect him to be happy about it? Now, one more word from you. I will redesign your face for you. Igwe, oh no. I thank all of you for answering this call to this very crucial meeting. It's a thing of joy for one's call to be answered like this. I was the one that summoned the meeting. It's no longer a secret that any snack that is seen by more than one eye is not to be referred to as a sacred pattern. That's why I called the meeting. I am not happy that the light of peace our forefathers handed over to the king had quenched. Igwe, you made a promise to your late father, Igwe Anumba, my identical twin brother, that you will keep the legacy of this royal family. And of course, make sure that peace continues to reign. May the gods take the life of anyone that would want to bring anarchy into this peaceful family. Even the one that wouldn't give us money for upkeep. Silence! Ulaako, uh, I have warned you more than once, so many times, that to interrupt a man is bad. This is one part of lawlessness we talk about. You think it's wisdom. And the more I tell you about this, you don't care to hear. 
What have I done wrong? Even if I've erred, you're my husband. Maybe you should be able to accord me some respect like the queen of this kingdom. Olako, apologize to my uncle right now before you push me to the wall. I am sorry, uncle. I, mean, I didn't mean to impugn your status. I was only talking because Quiet. I... Quiet! <coughs> Why must you be the one talking when every other person is silent? But I have already apologized, my king. Ulaku, one more word. You'll see the other side of the king you do not know. But it's okay, my king. Ulaku, I understand you have been insulting Lola and her children. Eh? And saying things you're not supposed to say. What is the matter with you? Eh? Now, Ulako, I apologize to them. Apologize to them for what, or no? No, tell me. Give me one reason why I should apologize. I mean, what have I said that isn't the truth? You see, you see, that's exactly what I said to her, trying to make her understand and do this. And she bluffed it. Ulako, you can't be the crowd. Ufoya de Sirora. Do not be. The proverbial ones are that overfed himself and decided to challenge his personal God. Eh? Anakoi. Anakoi. That's what I said. The world was made to accommodate everybody. Why must some people say that someone will not live in peace in this palace? Olako, do what you are asked to do and do not waste our time. I'm talking to you. Igwe, in the recent past, the royal family have been the envy of everyone. That be an example. Igwe, your forefathers did the right thing. Do the right thing and stop being a woman rapper. Igwe told to your wife that you married her, have not made her a, a superior person to Lola. After all, Lola had been here before she came in. Eh? Any more of her unnecessary bickering, the elders in council will decide her fate in this palace. My prince, I had to tender your resolution. Yes, uncle. Please go back to work. Eh? That company will crumble without you. Your father cannot run the company the way you do. Because of age. Eh? Well, Uncle, I want to open my own publishing company. Hence, the insult from father's legitimate wife stops. I will not have my father counter my efforts to move the company forward. I'm sorry, my friends. Please, forgive your father. What is the apology for? I don't even understand. Resign the Kenneth for once. Ana Yogi Neko. Eba Mundo. What is this? Resign and I will take over. Mm. You know, Father, you should control your wife. Mm. You know me very well. Yeah. I'm temperamental. Temperamental? You, you see, you don't try that with me. Listen, if you resign, I will take over fully. Yeah, you think you're the only one that studied abroad? I also lived in Libya for years. I can take care of that company. Iwanamu. <laughs> Don't talk to my brother like that. Don't talk to
Majesty, what is all this? I don't understand this unplanned exercise. You said you wanted to discuss something with me. And you've been taking me up and down without saying a word. You've been quiet all along. We've been moving the, the, the length and breadth of this palace like pregnant women in labor. What is it? Olako, I married you because I found you attractive and beautiful. I married you because I believe I'll be a more fulfilled king. But you turned out the other way around. Why do you bend on destroying the kingdom my forefathers passed on to me? What is the problem? I am still listening, my king. Listening? Mm -hmm. What else are you listening to hear from me? Do you know exactly the reason you brought me out here? Olak, you insulted my wife and my children. And up <laughs> till this moment, you have failed to apologize. Even Olu, the <laughs> prime minister of this kingdom, called you and spoke to you. And you disappointed him. You have not said anything to him. Refused to apologize. What is the problem? Tell me what is your problem. Your Majesty, I see you have absolutely nothing to discuss with me. But I, Queen Ulak, the only, the one and only legitimate queen of this great kingdom, has something to tell you. Please, my king, warn your wife. Warn that old witch. She should respect herself. She should talk to her children. Let them stay in their space and leave me alone in this palace. Because if they don't accord me the respect that I truly deserve as the only queen, oh, your majesty, there will be no peace in this palace. In fact, not just this palace, but this entire kingdom as a whole. Nonsense. She not the look who anybody face you. She not send anybody for the palace here. Others they arrange her own not to scatter. Hey, see the kind woman who says she be a queen no jail. King Ahana, you did it to yourself. You shot yourself in the leg. We don't know for there. Oh, but talon kwalo, ya singole, gali o lele. When Olako is banking on the simple mistake I made by telling her what I shouldn't, and she's blackmailing me, I go through series of emotional blackmailing her hand on daily basis, even to get royal household back to what it used to be seem rather too difficult now. Igwe. This is actually a Herculean task. A very Herculean one. Because this is like an arrow piercing through the belly of somebody. If you want to pull out the arrow, that person dies. And if you want to leave it on the person's belly, he will go through so much pain. At the end, he must surely die. You forget? For one thing I know, there is no problem without a solution in this life. It's only that that has no solution. The very mistake started when you open your mouth carelessly to the woman. No matter where a woman touches you, no matter how delicate a place she touches you, do not open up so wide to them. You can't trust them. You are correct or no. But please, what must I do for that which is stronger than the cricket has stormed the whole of the cricket and the poor cricket have no other option than to seek aid from all directions 
Calm down. Your Majesty, just calm down. Oh no, how do you expect me to be calm? He whose house is on fire does not chase the mice. Mili, hmm. the mouth of the toad has been filled with water, and the poor toad can no longer croak. Igwe. Hmm. I think you are right, but let me remind you of that. I told you that we started from the cradle to make this mistake. I will not say I am not the cause of the misery. What betide me if I ever claim I am not at fault? But oh no, what do I do to salvage this situation? Tell me a way out. All right. Are you sure this will get to us? Very well. Are you sure? It will work. In fact, it has worked already. So we can cheer up now. And the poor DJ, the one who's well, you can join the good day. I'm well, good day. Tell me, when are you going to introduce a beautiful maiden to us as a wife? Tell us. Very soon, mother. Very soon? <laughs> Very soon? Yes, I'm for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this has gladdened my heart, believe me. I really cannot wait to meet this beautiful girl. Right, meet you. Don't worry. Yeah. Very soon you get to meet her. That's nice. Congratulations, sweetheart. <laughs> already? Yes, already. Okay, which clan is she from? Well, she's um, not from this kingdom. Okay. But she's from the Umonasi clan. Which Umonasi clan? Which Umonasi clan? Alright, all I know is I need her. Exactly. Ah, with his father. With his father. With them, my children. Your Majesty, sir. My friends and fathers. Father. Um, please. Um, in spite of all odds, let us forget what has transpired and face the future. Let us see every insect of the night as mosquitoes. As mosquitoes? I don't understand you, your majesty. You know I'm not a talking type. Yes, I know for sure. So what are you trying to say? We should applaud your queen for crossing her boundaries and stepping on our toads? Is that what you're saying? Uh, my, my, my law law, I never said so. Oh. Well, Father, your queen, Olaku, should bear the consequences of her actions and apologize immediately. We don't need our apologies. The world is like a school. And we keep learning as long as there is life. I have learned that being salacious is a wonderful thing. I just, I just wish that, that I'm married in my husband's house and with my kids. I wish that I can turn back to the ends of time. My princess, please do not 
allow your marital status to wear you down. You are still young. The right person will appear as soon as the time is, is right. Excuse me, Father. What do you mean by when the time is right? When she was busy chasing away all her suitors, she never knew a time like this would come. When she would wait a whole year without one suitor coming by. Yeah. Not even a blind man. Ikin, are you trying to tongue lash me? Are you in any way better? Look at Kettle calling pot black. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's okay. It's enough. Igwe, it's okay, please. I'm sorry. And I promise I'll make it up to you. Please forgive me. It's all right. Oh, down to the gods of my ancestors. Today I am a very happy man. At least, my prayers. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Father. You're not supposed to be apologizing to me. I've forgiven you. Even before now. Thank you. My princess. Forgive me. It's okay for me. Lola. It's okay for you. Oh. I'm a very happy. This nonsense. What is what? Why are you pushing me? A woman, not just a woman, a wife trying to get intimate with her husband. Is what you're calling nonsense? Until you do the needful, I won't touch you again. And what on earth do you call the needful? I married you and not the other way around. You insulted my wife and my children. The last I checked, Lolo is not your wife. She is your father's wife, whom you inherited after he passed on. I thought you said you are a graduate. Of course, I went to school. Is my inherited wife not my wife? I said she's not your wife. I am your only legitimate wife. Yes! And I asked for the obligation you owe me, which is my conjugal right. Uh, it's like those ears of yours are mere decoration. I said I will not touch you again until you do what and you And I said you me. must touch me. You must perform your husbandly duties. It's not you are my husband. Come here. Your Majesty. You're running away. No, you can run all you want, but you must come back here and do what you expected. What is all this? I am your wife. You married me with so much money. I'm married with you. No, no, no. What nonsense. I am waiting for you. Ah, Lola, you have two beautiful children for me and I love you for that. Are you saying you love me because I gave birth to two beautiful children for you? No. You are a good woman. If only Queen Olak will learn to do half of what you do that makes you outstanding. Mm. I like the talking. Do you mean your wife? Mm, Lolo, you know you're also my wife. I inherited you as soon as my father passed on because of your doggedness and willingness to see this kingdom move forward. And I, I, I don't regret doing that. As a matter of fact, You've turned out to be the best thing that has ever happened to me. As for Queen Olako, I married her because I want to know what it feels like to wheel a lady to your side. 
Fafa, accept your proposal, uh, go for an introduction, pay a bright price and all that. You know, experience, they say, is the best teacher. Hmm. Hmm. Your pastoral, there's hurdles. Yeah. Do you know, I was even thinking that Ichie or Jacob was the one who recommended her to you. Yes, he did. But you know, you women with your chakra, uh, do I need to tell you that uh, she put her chakra at the first instance, mm. but <laughs> finally she succumbed? Exactly. Mm. That was exactly the same thing that happened to me when they asked me to come and marry an old seeking. At first, I rejected it, but, you know, my poor parents was of the opinion that I should get married to him. I obliged. I was here when it all played out. Um, as a matter of fact, I was the person who asked my father to marry a woman who will take care of him. Your father didn't sleep with me. From the day when he got married to me till he died. I know. You know? Yeah. He was sick and couldn't perform his conjugal right. Baba, my father married you for me. What? He told me that before he died. You see, you are a good woman. You came to marry the king without knowing that you actually came to marry the prince, the future king of Obodoma kingdom. Mm -hmm. You are way too young for King Aruna. What's that what happened? You are choking. No jokes. Uh. Lolo, you are a very good woman. You're kind. It's rare to find. I promised my father that I would do all he asked me to do before he bowed to death. I really miss him, believe me. He mm. was a noble man. Yes. King Anumba, man of few words and full of action. Unlike his brother, No Ibeka. He and Ono Ibeka are identical twins, but different lives. Ono Ibeka is so much in talking, so great talker, unlike my late father. Not anymore now. I know he doesn't talk much anymore. He <laughs> talks less these you, days. You can say that again. He's stricken in age. Bones are very weak to carry him now. Yeah. Well, longevity is a blessing from the gods. Oh, Lord. This is more reason I love you so much. Uh -huh. Wisdom. You are full of wisdom. The gods endowed you with so much wisdom. Unlike Olako. King, relax. Molaku is a young girl. I believe that the gods will also favor her with wisdom when she ages. Her actions and inactions in this palace drives everybody crazy. Let her learn from you. Is that too much to ask for? It's okay. Relax. It's 100% my fault. But it's all in the past now. I have tolerated her enough, even with all her frailties. You know. But I don't think that will continue. After all, she's yet to give me a child. Come on, come on. Come on, Ibe. As for children, she will. I strongly believe she will. Only when you put it there. Mm-hmm. She will not impregnate herself, will she? No. It's only when you put it there that she will bring it out for you. No, no. What do you think I have done? 
everything I have engaged in every style she came up with, all to no avail, no single result. No, no, not like you. You just do it with me, normal way, normal style that is common to everybody, and you give me two children. What? What? How do you think you can't even can't even put it there again and <laughs> give me another twins? Let me be, please. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done having kids for you. So save your strength for your queen mm -hmm. So just give her the twins and she'll bring them out for you. Uh, what, what do you think I have not been doing that? I've done everything possible. Mangos oh, name you. Keep doing it, you know. Put away your strength. I have a just a little nod, yeah. My wife and my wife. I summoned you here to introduce someone very special to this royal palace. Someone very, very special. His name is Jack. My personal bodyguard. When you look at him very well, you see that he's well deserving. When I mean well deserving, very, very deserving of being my personal bodyguard by all standards. You can see his sister. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's fine. Now, listen and listen very attentively. You have to take orders from him. Otherwise, you have to incur his wrath. And of course, you know what that means. He is a trained bodyguard and also a bouncer in the club. He is very tact in discharging his duties. And he can be very, very ostreperious to people when he's had a few alcohol. Do not ever get in his bad books. Otherwise, you will be done for. Am I well understood? That's fine. Now take yourselves out of my sight, get back to work immediately. Out! Away! It's our kingdom. We rule. I am the queen of this great palace, and everything I say stands. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Confusion everywhere. Why? Hello. How can I tell Hi! Prince Ikenna, you're here. Who's this man and who has he come to see? Oh! Um, actually... Queen Ulaku. Yes? Are you trying to tell me that you brought in this total stranger to drink? before the royal throne of this great kingdom. Point of correction, my prince. Jack is not a total stranger. He is my newly employed bodyguard. Excuse me? Yes. Your what? You have a problem with that? Oh, like, why do you behave funny sometimes? You're telling me you went out of your way to employ another bodyguard where we have lots of guards in this kingdom? that? Who do you call bodyguards? Those nitwits? Bodyguards? Oh my praise, isn't that so funny? Jack? My queen. Please stand on your feet. Just look at him. Look at this young man from head to toe. And tell me what you see. This is what you call a well-deserving bodyguard. He has got everything. Now tell me, who there stands when he roars? Nobody dares. Nobody at all. And I tell you something, my prince. It's not just an ordinary bodyguard. 
But his gigantic look is actually intimidating that anybody who tries to stand face to face with him will melt. That is why I have chosen him and he's here to work for me, my prince. And who's going to foot the bills of your gigantic bodyguard? Me? Mm. Oh, definitely not. <sighs> Listen, Queen Olako. This is not a welcomed idea. All right? We have plenty of guards in this palace. You can as well take any one of them. Mm -hmm. And not him. His services are not needed here. But I need him to work for me. No, you don't. <laughs> now listen, mister. The time is up. You have to leave this palace now. Oh. Else I will do something stupid to you. Right now. Get out. Now. Get out. Jack! Uh, refrain! What is wrong with you? Yo. What the hell do you want to do? Now tell me. What the hell do you want to do? You want to fight me? Go ahead. But I tell you this. This is my territory. You cannot mess with me and go scot-free. I will deal with you. Get out of here before I get the police. Oh. I will not warn you again. Get out! Ask him to leave! Now! Jack! What came over you? You wanted to fight him? The prince of Obodoma Kingdom! Have you lost it? The heir apparent to the throne! Is something wrong with you? You should have allowed me to deal with him. Oh, please! Fair me down, titoli nonsense! What do you want to do? Do you know who that guy is? Do not try that nonsense again. I see that this little alcohol you've had is really having a toll on you. And you have to, you have to take it easy. You have to calm down. God damn it. It is the prince. We'll try it again. Okay. Father, what is going on in this palace? Um, I still do not know what Queen Olaf is up to. Father, you need to stop her. You need to stop her. Why would she go out of her way to employ a club bouncer in the palace? What? Oh, yes. He's a bouncer in the club. I know him very well. What, what is a bouncer doing in my palace? I don't know. Well, I have asked him to leave. And if he doesn't, I will call the police. No, no. We really need to trade with Kashan. You have to handle her gently. Very well then. If that bouncer must continue here, she'll have to foot his bills from her purse, her personal purse, and not the kingdom's treasury, nor the company's wallet. She actually complained that the royal guards are not what she wanted. That she wanted a stronger personal bodyguard. And uh, that's just it. Very well. We'll see to that. Just so you know, Father, your royal guard, the gardeners, the chefs and all royal staff are threatening to leave. What? I mean, they are threatening to resign if that bouncer remains here. So you should think about it. I'll leave you in good faith, Father. Oh, Lord. Oh, we lose the tongues. She doesn't have one tongue because if she does, nobody with one tongue can talk as much as she does. I 
How dare you bench into my room without knocking? And even with a stranger. Like the saying goes, a toad does not run in the daylight for nothing. Something transpired that necessitated what you're seeing this night. Yes, when a game runs carelessly, a careless bullet will be forwarded to it. Your Majesty. And what is the meaning of that? You have blatantly refused to perform your husbandly duties. You have been denying me my conjugal right as your legitimate wife in this palace. Your only legitimate wife. What are you saying before you do that stranger? Oh, forget about Jack. He's with me. I brought him. Ulak, will you take this, this, this young man out of my room now before I pronounce a curse on both of you? Calm your head down, your majesty, for Jack is going nowhere. Are you completely raving bonkers? I am sane, very sane, your highness. Listen, your majesty, what? tonight, you are going to make love to me, willingly or unwillingly. Listen. Are you going to use force on the king? your majesty. Meaning? Meaning not to talk about your majesty. Let's get down to business. Stop this, stop this. I told you I will never sleep with you unless you must have done what I ask you to do. Yes. Yes. Jack! My queen. And what is the meaning of that? My friend, will you get out of my room before I, I, I curse you to that? You will. Position one. You won't dare. You can try it. Or I lay a curse on you. Do you know where you enter? I am the king. You will. I don't want to use force on you. I said position well. And I said, I will not do that. Nobody uses force on the king. I'm the king. I can't force me to do what I don't want to do. You are making me to repeat myself. I said, you position. What, what are you? What are you? Leave me. Position well for my position. Position well for my heart. Position well. Leave me alone. Your Majesty. You don't want to be calm. Listen, it is nothing wrong that a wife chooses to have her husband her own way and, and your own way is bringing it out to 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 force the king back down jack is not a tout he's helping me accomplish my mission me? your majesty just keep it down you will like it I, as a matter of fact i learned new styles but, and but, i will give it to you the way you like Ulaq. but you have to be calm Ulaq. do not force it. I, you can't try it you i won't do it don't try it on me i tell you i tell you see Ulaq. Ulaq. calm down Ulaq. Do you, jack do you, hey don't come here listen don't try Ulaq. do you understand what you are trying to do this is a sacrilege Ulaq, do you need uh, Why are you standing here like you have a devilish agenda? I'm on duty. Duty? I'm doing my job. Lord. Which is? What is going on in there? Oh. The king is having a quality time with his wife. What? Please get out of my way! What is this? I need to be sure that His Majesty is alright. Your Majesty! You see, you have nothing to worry about. <sighs> uh, that is the lowest voice I'm hearing. <sighs> oh, please forget that old woman. Let's go for the fifth round. 
Uh, I am not exhausted. Please, please, please. Why are you behaving like a woman? Please. You're a man for crying out loud. I'm See, you so have denied me this for a very long time. And that is why I decided that I must have it this night, whether by hook or crook. Whatever I want, I get. If all luck, please. Please, let go of me. Please, help me to go out. Please, Ola, I am not as strong as you are. Please, this will be Lalo's night. But you have just exhausted all my strength. I don't know why you keep talking about that old witch. Is her thing sweeter than mine? Hey. Ola, please, please. Please, Listen, my king. I do not want violence. What I want, I get. You have not even started, though. Oh, like you will kill me. I said you have not even started. I, I'm not doing again, oh, please. Your please. Majesty, stop pleading with me and listen. You have not gone inside well. You have to go inside very, very well. So just... Oh, like, please. Hey. Leave last now. Oh, like you. Why are you crying like a baby? you break my wrist. Please. Let me tell you. If you don't calm down, relax for us to have this thing the way we are supposed to have it. I will not be held responsible for anything that happens to you. I, you know me now, I always walk away. I, oh, like, please. Oh, like, Your please. Majesty, respect yourself. Please. Like See, you will break my wrist. Just open up. If you can't do, I will do. Please. Open your hands. I will like, please. Open your hands. I, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I need to be sure that His Majesty is all right, please. He's having a quality time with his wife, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Hey, are they fighting or what? Listen, Queen Olako should not break His Majesty's waist. Please, that's my concern. She's a please. professional. When it comes to matters concerning men, so you have nothing to worry about. Wait a minute. How come you know so much about her sexual problems? Lola, like I said before, she's a professional. Your Majesty, please wait. Nothing should happen to Igwe. Did you hear me? It's not like I cannot slap you. But then, my dog, bunch of mad dogs surrounded in Iwe's room. Rubbish. What was the meaning of that? I'm asking. You're not talking to me. What was the meaning of what you did last night? You invited me over only for me to come and see you in the arms of Queen Olako. Lola, could you believe that Queen Olako raped me last hmm? night? She raped me. She badging on me with that bouncer. That bodyguard held me, forced, used force on me, and Queen Olako slept with me. What? Rape? I don't get it slept. Imagine the king being raped. I will, I will let curse on both of them. There is nothing we will not get in this palace. What is all this? That bodyguard came here, lift, lifted my, my feet off the ground, and pinned me here. And when Ola bounced on me, he wanted to watch watch us do it. He was there. And it was when I frailed that it, 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 a, a taboo and abomination for a stranger to, to see the king's nakedness. Of course. That, that, that's when Queen Ola ordered him out and he left. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Queen Ola, she told me in pieces like a hungry lioness. She continued. I even begged her to let go of me, but she wouldn't. She was malhandling me. I, I, I was even. She, she didn't. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Your waist. It's your waist. waist. I hope she did not break your waist. No, no. She left me with a broken waist. This is embarrassing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please don't say this kind of a thing. Uh, I mean, it's not good for people to hear this. Sorry. Sorry, yo. Your Majesty, sorry. Let me tell you something. Do you know that her bodyguard told me last night that Quinolaco is a professional in handling men on bait? He said that? Of course he did. Igwe, believe me, I suspect both of them. I'm sure they are lovers. <laughs> hey! No, 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 no! My Please! Waist. Your waist, Nina. Oh, calm down. Calm down, you go. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, please. Oh, I've been a Take inside. Oh, do not why I lie, I lie. Confusion everywhere. How long are we going to move from here? Eh? We'll be almost 40 minutes. What is going on? He personally summon us for this meeting so that we will discuss about the development of our youth hall. My fellow cabinet chiefs, calm down. Hmm? My nephew will soon join us. Hello, I strongly suspect uh, my brothers. I strongly suspect that Igwe is not in a proper, perfect condition to join this meeting. Honestly, something makes me to think the way I think. Chief Jacob, I want to assure you that there's nothing wrong. If there's anything wrong, I am supposed to be the first person to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah, the quota. Let it be that way. So just calm down. He will soon join us. Mm. It's only one thing I want to chip in here. I'm wearing out of patience. And I don't have to spend the whole of today in this palace. How about that thing to do in my house? Exactly. Mm. Of course. But, uh, uh, Who doesn't have where, where to wear what's to? Calm down. Huh? We're in a meeting. It's kingdom business. Which one are you wearing? Yeah? Hey! <laughs> What happened? Were you involved in an accident or what? Um, my elders, my elders. My father had a domestic accident, and he won't be able to work at the moment. Domestic accident? Yes. Hey! Please let us call it spade, spade. What exactly happened? A domestic accident can be anything. What actually happened to our king? Well, um, he fell down the stairs and broke his waist. Huh? Yeah? Hey! Hey! hey. Princess! Mwah. Uncle. You want me to believe that my nephew, your father, had an accident of this magnitude? And don't know if you deemed it fit to come and let me know. No, Uncle. It's not like that. The accident actually happened at midnight. Midnight, Ikwa! Tell me! Midnight! Hey! No, what was he doing outside by midnight? You called it that, that you could. He fell and shattered his waist by midnight. Oh, Jacob. Hey, excuse me. Hold on, hold on, no. 
Are you sure if Ben did not fall from the bed and break his waist? Sit you on ever. Make it on ever. Sit you on. Turn the fire out. Hey, no, 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 I'm talking about it. Oh no! With all due respect, shut up. My princess. Shut up. With all due respect, yes, shut up. With all due respect, shut up. You can go. Sacred again. You can go. Also, he said, You will not say no respect to Um, Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Now, now that the princess has left, please, Igwe, tell us exactly what happened because I cannot believe that thing that the princess just said. I believe she's trying to cover up for you. So, Igwe, tell us, please, we're your cabinet members. What are you doing on that wheelchair? Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, whatever happened to you happened to all of us. Mm -hmm. We are the representatives of the people. So, what are we going to tell them that happened to their king? Please talk to us. What happened to you, my king? Igwe, why are you not talking? Please tell us what happened to you so that we can know exactly what it is. It's okay. <clears throat> um, Castle Chiefs, let us proceed to why we are here. We have a building project at hand and we need to discuss it. And that is, that is what we will discuss here now. Not now. Not now, Your Majesty. Why? Why? Mother and Ebu, Oswe Yinisi, Jurokuna Babuzo, and Emi Amen. We have a case at, at hand. We have an issue at hand. Oh no, if I may ask, what is the matter you have at hand? Yo! You will. You are the issue we have at hand. Igwe, my fellow cabinet chiefs, mm -hmm. tell me what issue can be more important than the health of our amiable king, who is now brought to us on a wheelchair? When we left here last time, we left him heart and head, and now he's brought here on a wheelchair, cannot move. I attempt not to go, and go ahead and discuss the issue of a, a, a kingdom project. Huh? Oh no. In fact, eh, for the very first time in a very long while, you have said something reasonable with all due respect, sir. You said you are. Oh, no, but I said with all due respect. I always know you as a fool. Irara. Stupid no signal Ramos. Will you shut up your mouth? No, no. In my presence. We will. You, know, you see, I was going to say the same thing Ono who said, you know, but I, I, felt, I, I thought it, it might be thrown aside. You understand? And so that is the thing. Ono, who, you, you said something good. Ono, yes. I don't think there's any need for us to overclock this issue. The princess has come here to tell us what exactly happened to Aigwe. And then, do you think there's anything she's doing to cover up for the Igwe? It's your, it's your money, shut up! How dare you! You small boy! You are asking me to shut up! I have every right in this palette to aim at you! Sit down! Give up the children, Kitabula Chayana! I'm man! You tell me to shut up! Why do you sit down? You are not making sense! Oh no, he's talking the right thing! You are, 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 you Igwe is already opening his mouth to tell us what happened, or how he fell from the bed and broke his waist. Or that name now, Kwada Juku. Guy Maru came in. Are you interrupting the process? Uh, please, Igwe, uh, you can. Uh, but Ichi Omadi is right. Oh, Ichi Osiene has no right to shut a fellow cabinet member up. Oh, how can you say that? How can you say that? Eh, Omadi is older than Osiene. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, Ojiako, you, why do you like bringing confusion wherever you are? You like causing confusion, Ojiako. You call me by my name. You call me by my name. Eh? Look at this upcoming red cap chief calling me by my name. Look at you. If you find that I'm in fake you. Ojiako. Mary Bella. Ojiako. Uh, no. Is it all your name? Mary Bella. I called you by your name. Mary Bella. Look at you. Look at you. I called you your name. You know. 
pas de Jacob. Il se lève quand tu parles. Il se lève. On dit Jacob. Il a dit Jacob. Il a dit Jacob. Il a dit Jacob. Jack? Where is that noise emanating from? Come with me. You got me like a snake. I'm not doing anything. If you think you are a man, come and touch me. And I will show you the stuff I'm made of. Why should I touch you? You're a fool. A compound fool. That's what you are. Foolish old man. That's what you are. I cannot even touch you with my walking stick. Why should I touch you? I'm a messy I will do you something very yeah, strong. Nothing you will do to me. Stop. What of you stop? Fool. Foolish man. That's what you are. Stop. Okay. Okay. Man now go away. Ima we put in a jail in Bahamiri. Inge Messi ike. Okamu. Inge Messi. You don't do anything. Hey, stop. What of you? No, you both stop. 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 Oh no. Oh no. We allow them. If they don't want to stop, let them continue. Allow them. Ah yes. Continue. Let them continue. But where are you from? No need to stop them. Let them continue. Allow them. What the hell is going on here? What madness is this? What? Why are you old fools disturbing the peace of the royal palace? Have you gone mad? Have you lost your sanity? Have you? Watch your tongue, Queen Oluaku. How dare you make a general statement? Why don't you call the names of those cabinet members that, that behave like little boys? Will you shut up? Ah, shut up. Look who is talking. You call yourself. Do you know? Yet you sit there and watch things go wrong without doing anything. So why are you not the traditional prime minister? Jack, my queen. Bundle them out, one after the other. Hola. What's the matter? I'm going to Bring me down! Bring me down! I'm a red cap chief! You cannot send me and like you! I'm a red cap chief! Bring me down! Bring me down! You're nothing but a red cap thief! A thief you are! What's happening? How dare you? What audacity have you? Since you old fools have refused to respect yourselves before the sacred staff of Obodama Kingdom, I will teach you lessons one after the other. Jack is coming for all of you. Jack! Caution! Caution, Kunulaku! What's wrong with you? Why are you sounding like this? Will you keep quiet? What is wrong with you? Anyways, I don't even know why I'm wasting my saliva talking to a useless man like you. Jack! Jack them out. I am okay. No, it's not me. Come on, stop up, guys. man calling himself your no useless man that doesn't know his work. Take him away! Jack him out! What kind of nonsense is this? I hope you are still watching. You are still telling me about my name. You are still telling me about my name. Why are you doing this for me? Why are you doing this for me? Will you shut up? 
I will not shut up. Oga, move it. Go outside and be saying those nonsense. Jack, remove your cups. From today, they cease to be the cabinet members of this great palace. Huh? What is happening here? Aye! What's happening here? Eh? Pull up, are you mad? Who said that? Who said that? I'm going to ask this question for the very last time. Who uttered that? Jack, strip them naked. No! That is the height of it. I am the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. You cannot strip me naked. Jack, I said remove every single thing you are putting on. Okay, every single thing. Now, hands up. Hands up, boys, sir. You know what? Just match them out of this palace at once. Match them out of this palace. Don't do it. Move it, guys, sir. Why is this not you? No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at them. Primitive things. Nonsense. Jack! Follow me. Oh, 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 if I hear my name from your mouth again, eh? You will know the kind of stuff I'm made of. Yeah, I'm only a bob fool. Hi! Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Now go, who no Jinaja? I'm ashamed of you, man. Look at what you are doing to yourselves. Just watch. Hmm. Imagine that we know like. Commanding that her, her boyfriend that she called bodyguard to collect our red caps. Hey, look at Jesus. That's carrying me up like a, like a baby. Up on all my big weight. Huh? Hey! Honestly, I'm bottom style of running the affairs of this palace so called for. Huh? Just imagine. Oh, oh wait. Let's how about you open what I get to okay more? Well, Mabu, you would have tied me up like a a goat for slaughter. And, hey! And strip you naked. You'll be stripped naked first. In fact, you'll be stripped so naked that your autonomous community will be dangling up and down like a. In fact, be careful. Tell it, tell it, tell it. come to think of it. Who does she think she is? You're not going to know her. Queen also. I find you're going to be queen before her. So, why in Kiaga did you? Why? Hey! Our ancestors forbid this. This is the height of sacrilege. And I'm sure that our ancestors, the gods of Budoma, will surely judge them. But by the way, like I said, I'm disappointed at you. Look, 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 look at you, Boot. Shameless people. Two uh, council elders fighting themselves to death. And you, imagine, you see how the, the battle came out to shamelessly talk. Umar, you should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Chad. So, no, you cannot talk. When one is not a man, a man, woman, remove your red cap. You didn't say anything, you didn't do anything. Oh, Luzena, my own nine, you want to be? Oh, no, who got him? Eh? Stop! Stop again! Be quiet! 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 Be qui
Let me correct him because he doesn't know what he's doing. Umad, mm -hmm. why are you saying this? Don't you think it would have been a crying shame for a whole or no who to be beaten up by a small boy? And that will be. That will never be. Yeah. Eh? By the way, let me ask you. Have you men ever wondered what happened to our wife? <laughs> to, to keep them on the wheelchair? Mm. Eh? To never have It's a food for thought. That shouldn't bother me. That shouldn't be my headache. Let the king fix his home and tell you. Mm -hmm. Here on Sunday, you go to the Murumbas and give that giving. Because can you start? You should be the one thanking your ancestors. I would have removed all your teeth. You use packer and be packing them. You! Hey, foolish old man, foolish old man. I will deal with you. Oh, wait, you go out. You can yeah. complain. Oh, no, I yeah. will deal with you. Go out. Oh, no, where shall I go? Go out. Where shall I go? Out of here. Where shall I go? Oh, no. Where shall I go? Where shall I go? Well, Father, I have asked you for the uptime's time, and you've refused to say anything. You cannot just go to bed and wake up with a misplaced waste. How do you explain that? Well, if you must know, I had a dislocation. What? Yes. Father, I do not understand what you're, what you're saying or trying to say. I mean, you were very well okay last night before going to bed. Or did you fall from your bed? You're still not saying anything. It's all right. I'll see what you tell the family doctor tomorrow when we get to the hospital. And who told you I, 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 I am ever planning to go to the hospital tomorrow? Father, we are going to see the family doctor tomorrow. Uh, I insist. And what makes you think I would want to go to the hospital? Well, that's because I need you to get back on your feet as soon as possible to carry out your duties as the king of this great kingdom. Instead of Queen Uluako, playing king and inflicting pain on your subjects. What did I hear you say? Well, Father, do you know that Queen Olako ordered Jack, or whatever his name is, to bundle your cabinet chips, including the Ono of this great kingdom, out of the king's court, which he did. What? What do you mean? Well, she didn't stop at that. She also ordered that their red caps be seized. Do you also know that Chief Umeadi and Nsianya fought themselves dirty on their way home? Oh, no, no, no. Well, Father, this and many other reasons are why I want you to get back on your feet as soon as possible before Queen Oluaku does the unimaginable. Okay? Princess Ole, the one name of a truth. The greatest mistake I have ever made, even as a child and as a king, was to marry Ola. She is a devil. She is every day trouble. One day, one trouble. Mane, you don't even understand. In Kemel Joy, a more. 
nko me la de joyo me kwase ozo ona ekwe fo se akupo na inu igba yes any trouble what is that your majesty jack kwenolako's bodyguard has engaged prince ikena in the physical combat what my king please you need to attend to this issue because i think the prince might kill him um one of one go please let me attend to this new trouble hey You should be ashamed of yourself. As a matter of fact, by now you should be covering your face in shame. Look at you. You call yourself a bouncer. And you allowed yourself to be beaten up by that, by that useless prince. In fact, eh, you are, you're a useless person. I, I told you, I, I, at first, I didn't, see, I didn't see that coming. He took me on away. What nonsense are you talking about? Can you hear yourself speak? He did not see the blood coming. How could you have seen it coming? If it is to jump on me and jump out like a frog, that is the only thing you know how to do best. Fight that guy, you couldn't. Is he bigger than you? No sense. Baby, believe me when I said I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. I was just trying to get rid of oh, before I know shut you shut up! Away. Shut up! Jack, can you even hear yourself? You were in a combat with somebody and you said you were not expecting a blow? What are you expecting? A kiss or a peck? Nonsense. That upper cut was heavy. I, I, I am talking and you are talking nonsense. Shut up! Shut up! You heard what that girl said, right? You heard what she said. What did she say? What do you mean, what did she say? When you duck when she was saying it. She said she has our sex tape. It's not possible. That is not possible. How, how can you even believe that? No, how, how possible is that? Eh? Don't mind her. She just said that to make you cower in fear. Ah, it's not possible now. Don't tell me you believe her. I think you have a point there. Because I've been thinking, honestly, how could that girl come into my privacy, my room, with a video recorder or a phone to, to, to record you and I and I wouldn't notice? I think, I think she's trying to make me scared. But listen, huh? My darling, we're going to deal with them, especially that princess. You see the prince? You see that prince? Believe you me, eh? You see that guy? I will deal with him in this palace. Mabasi. Oh, please leave Mabasi for here. What's what was Mabasi? A man that beat you almost just removed your teeth. You're talking about Mabasi. Listen, forget about the prince. He is no go area now. We should concentrate on the princess. Attack her. Let's attack her. In a way that she will be so uncomfortable in her father's palace and she will want to run away. That's what you're going to do. Hey, Kuku Prince. Oye Kuku, Oye Kuku, Duka, Duka. Yes. But my love, uh, later you help me and get massage. Okay, you can just you 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 you. If you to pound me like pando, you will do that. But look at the prince. You and that prince, who is bigger? He took me on away. He, he didn't believe me. Hey, can you Kuku took me on away? He, he took me on away. If I see that blue, hmm. Okay. Now, Your Majesty, with all due respect, that nonsense has to stop. I've had enough of that guy and Queen Olako. I've had enough! Son, you are of a blue blood. I must not fight with a commoner. Father wanted to teach him a lesson. So the next time he hears my name, he will hide his face. Yes, Father. My brother beat the daylight of that buffoon. That idiot. That tout. He thinks it's by carrying six packs or whatever. Your Majesty. <sighs> It has to stop before it gets out of hand. Do something about it. <clears throat> he must leave this palace. He must leave this palace. Else, I'll do something everyone will regret. I promise you this, father. He must. Son, just calm down. Let me handle this. How? On a wheelchair. Oh, please. Allow him to do something about it once. And for all. Lola. What? You don't have to allow this escalate to something else. Whosoever lives in a glass house does not throw stone. Stop, father. Father. Yeah. Just so you know, I will throw him out of this palace. I promise you that. He cannot. He cannot. Father, please stop. Stop him.
listen, we are very, very close to our target. But our progress is being hampered by Prince Ikena. If you ask me, I think our progress is hamstrung by lack of information. Which information? What are you talking We are in this palace. We have our ears to the ground. We have information. What we lack is strategy. Eh? See, you don't know, but I tell you, Prince Ikena is such a hard nut to crack. You have to be very careful. See that, Prince? See that, Prince? Leave it for me. I will surely deal with that guy. My boss made me hear that. Oh, keep me. quiet! So, Kwanike, what is wrong with you? You have you deal with who? I've told you this thing countless times. Forget about this prince. Let us face the princess. Let's face her. Our fellow woman. Uh -huh. Wait. You're not calling me a, a, a woman. Or uh -huh. Is she not our fellow woman? When you couldn't do something to the prince, as big and hefty as you are, you couldn't fight the prince. I'm still on this issue. I told you he we took We are still on the issue day. because I, I, it's, I have never been disappointed in my life. But let's not go there. Let me not get angry. Let's not just go there. Listen. If we have to fight these people in this palace, in fact, if we must win, if we must come out victorious, my dear, you have to follow them up tactically, systematically, and also technically. <laughs> There is confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. Oh, I've been as blind, taking sides. Confusion everywhere. If a man, who set this kingdom on fire? I enjoyed the way the priest beat him up. Ha! I had so much fun. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Imagine coming only from God knows where to this palace to boss everybody around you. What's God's? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the prince beat him up like a small boy. Hey! <laughs> Our own saint, Maradona. You can say it again. Hey! Mm? I never knew Prince Ikenna is very strong. He can be very calm, you know, but when he's angry, it's actually something else. Oh my God. I like such men that doesn't say anything but full of actions. I mm -hmm. see. <laughs> That's big for nothing. He will be following her up and down like a zombie. <laughs> I am very sure he's following her even to the bedroom when she wants to take her. <laughs> Yay! Didn't you guys hear when she said that she has a sex videotape of them? <laughs> that really got me thinking. And you know, I heard <laughs> it, but I'm not so sure. Come to think of it, mm -hmm. how did she actualize that? Because I know it is very impossible. I actually think that our princess actually mounted a CCTV in their rooms. <laughs> that is the only way. Hi. I never thought of that. Hmm. The princess also said that our Queen Ulaku was a Libyan prostitute. Jehovah! <laughs> She said it, didn't you hear it? I heard that too. I saw the guilt register on her face. Oh. It beats my imagination, honestly. How can once a prostitute become a queen? Mm -hmm. Why are you surprised? Ah. My dear, you never can tell the extent that women can go in. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Pretty, 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 my, my queen. queen. The four of you, come with me at once. My queen, I didn't say anything, no, it was them. I was only listening. Will you shut up your mouth, you little imbecile? So you've grown wings. You have the nerves to gossip me and my bodyguard. By the time I'm done with you today, you will regret your miserable lives. Jack! Okay. 
Check them out. Please, my friend. I my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Don't make me repeat myself. I said, move it, I saw. I said, Shut up! You keep quiet. Shut that tramp, you call a mouth. Look at you. You don't have respect. You riffraffs. They gossip me in this palace. Talk about me and my bodyguard. The only legitimate queen of Obodoma Kingdom. What insolence. Okay, I shall deal with all of you. I shall deal with you, Jack. My way. Deal with this idiot. Hey, 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 hey. Shut up! <laughs> do not have mercy. I repeat, do not have mercy. The God inclusive. Because I am very, very sure that you all must have been gossiping about me without me knowing. You are just flogging me in advance. I did nothing. Go there, Rachel. Hey. So it is time for you all to collect water, water. All right. She not I go down. I she not send me anybody for the palace. Others they are rich, they are only to scatter. Hey, see the kind woman who says she can win my day. Not be everybody will fight, fight for her. Stop this nonsense this minute. Hey, 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 respect yourself. Know your boundaries. Do not interfere in my affair. Do you understand? What is the meaning of this? What Mulaco? is the meaning of what? This is supposed to be a palace and not a zoo. What do you think you're doing? I am doing everything good. I am the queen of this great palace. And yes, if you must know, I am exhuming my audacity as the only bona fide queen. The legitimate queen of Obodoma Kingdom. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm? You know, the only reason why I will not beat you blue black, it's because you are my father's wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This gave me like saying, you don't know me all. You don't know me, okay? Forget this regalia here. If I change them for you, you're definitely going to change color. Look at you. <laughs> you're going to beat who? You're going to be. And let me tell you something. If you do not respect yourself and stay in your space, I will deal with you. Sure, I will. What are you going to do? Everything. Mm. I will make you disappear. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so scared. Ulako, don't you dare me. Because I have my eyes on you. I am watching you <laughs> every step that you take. I have your sex video. you. <laughs> what you've been with this, this child ever since he stepped his foot into this palace. I have all your nude pictures. <laughs> the one you've been sending to him and your numerous boyfriends. Even Ichi Ojiako. What a blatant liar you are. And why are you staring at me like that? Like you, <laughs> you believe this thing with all her lies? Mm. She's obviously lying. Are you or are you not a deputy prostitute from Libya? No, you are the prostitute. You are the certified global prostitute. <laughs> and not me. <laughs> so you brought this, this club bouncer into this house to be screwing you money, afternoon and night. By the time I am done dealing with you in this palace, you will not recognize yourself. Now, Retarded princess, mm. I'll tell you something. This insult is becoming too much for me to bear. Oh, really? <laughs> what are you? No, come back here. I am not done talking. I am not done with you, retired prostitute. I will make sure that I expose you in this palace. Oh, my name is not Princess Uma. What are you guys still doing on the ground? Get up. 
Listen, she has no right to boss you around in this palace. She is just a prostitute from Libya. So just go back to your duty post. Thank you, my princess. You are mad. What are you doing for food in Namibia? Jack. My Jack. Listen, don't tell me you mean what you just said. Of course I'm leaving. How can you leave me? How? You can't. You want to leave? Yes, I'm leaving. See, she lied. That wicked witch of a girl lied against me and you know it. On the contrary, you have been the one lying to me from the onset. I never lied to you, Jack. I mean, how did I ever lie to you? Tell me. I didn't lie to you. Listen, you cannot leave me all by myself to face all the problems in this palace alone. I would just die off. You're my strength. Please don't go. Olago, I don't think I have anything doing here again. I've overstayed my welcome. Mm -mm. No, no, okay, let me ask you. What am I doing here? I employed you. I employed you as my bodyguard. No, 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 and no. And you're no, doing no. your job so well. No, 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 no. As your bedmate, not your bodyguard. You brought me to this palace to be warm in your bed every night, right under your husband's nose. Do you like it? I like it. Huh? See. Here is a sacred palace, and whatever I do here will definitely haunt me tomorrow. And I don't want that. Since I'm no longer good enough for you, that you go about sleeping with other men, including that idiot Jacob. You! I never slept with him. You that, disgust me. That man is I don't even know what I'm wasting my time for. Oh, please. See, listen, Jack, I never slept with that dirty man. They were all lying against me. Okay, see, I. I'm sorry. You can't leave me in this palace. Please. I beg you, don't go. Please. I have to. No, seriously, I have to. I was actually here because of your sexy body. And I know that was the same reason your husband got married to you without the proper investigation. Now, let me tell you. You better go and make peace with the royal family before it's too late for you. Listen, Jack, that sexy body that you speak of, I will give you morning, afternoon, and night. Please don't go. I'm no longer interested. Goodbye. Oh, no, Jack. Wait on. You can't do this to me. It is you and I. Have you forgotten how we used to be, please? Don't allow me to jack you. You want to jack me? Don't allow me to jack you. Jack! Jack! jack. jack. Jackie, won't you use me as a bouncer? Jack! 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 As if we are animals. God will punish that. Amen. Girl. Amen. And that wicked queen, Ola, God will punish her. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Calm down. Why, why, what, 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 what happened? Now, what is after you now? Calm down. Okay. Listen to me. I have been eavesdropping on the queen and that's her bodyguard. What? what? That's where I'm coming from. Hey. Calm down. If now. Calm down. Listen. I want to gather some information from them before he leaves this palace. Wait, do you really mean you were listening to them as they conversed? You are broko. Calm down now. Is he leaving the palace? You don't know. He's Calm. leaving this palace. Why will he stay after the princess has exposed their secret affairs? <laughs> Look at you. I don't understand. <laughs> Honestly. So, they have been sleeping together in this secret palace. My dear. They have been sleeping together. Oh. That princess is shameless. He's Yoko. That guy is a bouncer in the club. The question is, where did she meet him? What kind of question is that? Were you not there when the princess said that? They actually met when she was doing her prostitution in Libya. If unanya, wongoga. Because because if unanya, is it today? Is it today you heard? Hmm. See, Imagine if this if this queen catches you again, what she will do to you? Yeah, you what she will do to you? That's smoking. See, my legs are paining me. Oh, I cannot bring in that boyfriend into the palace to deceive everybody. Hey? And he's been feigning as her bodyguard. Hmm. 
My mind is telling me something is happening. I'm coming for the dad. Just... If you go, 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 go. Hi. This is the energy. Hi. Where is he going? Now, me why he can't ask you, I've been a young man. Calm down. Calm down. You're supposed to be asking me. Don't ask yourself. No. What will I do? What will see? His girlfriend has pursued him away from the palace. Who been girlfriend? I don't who understand. Who is there? Someone asked me now. Now, you bring the news. Now, tell us who been. Update. I will follow you. I want no more. The grace. All right, good. Hello, son. Mom, I'm going to the police station right away to make an entry. I must have that son of a bitch arrested. Oh, sweetheart. There won't be any need for that. Mom, please stop your discouraging antics. It's not going to work now. But I'm not trying to discourage you, my love. Mm? Then what? Well, the fool has finally left this palace to wherever he came from. Right. How do you mean, Mom? I'm telling you the gospel truth. see. I trust your twin sister. She has managed to set both of them off. How? Ah, sweetheart, I want you to relax, okay? Everything is under control. My darling, forget that queen, queen Olak or whatever you call her. Her story this time is full of lured innuendos. That's it. Waiting. I'm sorry, it was not intentional. As soon as I made to leave the house, that devil I call my wife held my trousers. She was pulling me up. What did you do? She was demanding for money for soup before she would let me go. In fact, she held me, she nearly tore my clothes. She, she, look at this. Money for soup? Yes. Yeah, or oh, ego finesse. No, she nearly tore my clothes. Hey, Gladys. Hmm? Insults will never cease in your mouth. Gladys, you look at me. It's your jacko. The one and only old soldier in Abo weekend. Mwah. You can't get that. You 
They accuse me of sneaking out of my own house. Sneak out! Is that what it means? It's not possible. I, oh, I just, just want to go out there and wear my shoes so that it will not uh, dirty the floor, right? Yeah, yeah you're always mopping and keeping cleaning this place up. I left money for you and the cupboard now. Go to the bedroom. You see money there. You take the money and cook. Ma, you are lying and you know it. Seriously. I was. How can you call me a liar? A red cap chief like me. A member of the Uber in council. You call me a liar. Ma, I am not ready for this drama you are about to put up. I am not ready for it. Give me money for soup. You may go for that up, bro. What is wrong with you? I've told you that there's money on the cupboard. I kept money there, a lot of money. Go and check. Okay, go and check. It's in your bedroom now. Go and check. Yeah? On the cupboard, you see money, a lot of money there. Ah! Why you. You're a liar! It's too poor I see. Why will you stop all this? Why will you stop this? A red cap chief like you. A palace council member. Mm -hmm. Lying like a no man's business. What is wrong with you? Why will you stop this big this character? Why will you stop this? Huh? Stop this and be a responsible man for crying out loud. The other day you left this compound with your red cap mm -hmm. and came back without it. When I ask you of this, you keep on telling me lies. What is wrong with you? Gladys. Gladys. Listen. You have to let me go. Eh? Please. I have to be somewhere. Eh? Let me go. What? Do you have to be somewhere? Please. And what makes you think I will, I will let you leave this house without dropping money for soup? Huh? Remember, I've been asking you of this money since yesterday, and you refuse to give it to us. Oh, my head, I'm a diggy. What is it? You may go for me, go. Wait, hold on. You're being too. Gladys, listen. I am going out there to meet a very important personality. Very important personality, VIP. And then at the end of our meeting, he's going to drop big money in my hands. And I'll bring it to you. You can cook anything you want to cook. Please. Useless man. Mm -hmm. Useless man, you are not yet tired. Tired of what? Okay. You want to go and meet Queen Olaf? Ah, oh, you think we don't know? Oh, you think we don't know? You go there to give her false information about the palace members. You think we don't know? And you call that hand work. I have it, but I call work him. Gladys, Gladys, you see, some jokes can be expensive. Yeah? Some jokes can be expensive. I am not responsible for the troubles they have in the in the, in the palace. It's not my business. Yeah? You, you, you know, you know I'm not responsible for it. You, you, you accuse me of it. Stop accusing me, please. You lie! I will not allow you to leave this house to that place. To go add more injury to their taste. You are the one adding fuel to the house burning already. And you know it. You know it, Angie, you know it. That is a Gladys. Gladys. Angie! Gladys! Angie! Gladys, let me go. Uh, leave me. Leave my trousers. See, see, see how you are spoiling my clothes, eh? You will never leave yeah. this house. No, you, you see how you, you, you are spoiling my clothes, eh? When I go out there and I, 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 I meet with the, the, the VIP, eh? He will look at me and uh, you, at you, uh, you take him um, irresponsible. Look at you. Eh? Come, Why are you come doing and this? leave. Come and leave, Oji. Come no, and leave. Like this, Jay, well, Jay can't point. Jay, you will not. Jay, you, 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 you have done my clothes. Hey! Please, I don't leave him. Oh, don't get him. Oh! Oh, you will come back and meet me, Archie. You will come back and meet me. Oh, so, I see the back out there. It's going to ask me, maybe, see if you go to the chukuke reke. I know of fear. You're saying she knows you're seeing me? My queen, honestly, 
As far as I am concerned, that woman Gladys must be a witch. She is a witch. Otherwise, how would she have known that I'm going to be the one feeding you with all the vital information against uh, 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 about the, the, the royal household? Well, that question should be directed to you and not me. She is your wife, isn't it? Isn't she your wife? Mm, well, anyway, that one apart. <laughs> My thing. Do you know that Chief uh, Mbeto, Mbeto, He's been walking all over the kingdom, moving around, telling every ear that cares to listen that Jack is your boyfriend. Ibeto, you mean? I'm telling you. Ibeto. He, he's inconsequential. I don't understand. When I say he's inconsequential, just believe it like that. Because Jack is gone. Eh? He is gone. What? And as I speak to you now, I am so powerless in that palace. I'm unhappy. I'm really, really not happy. No, no, my queen. <laughs> no, 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 no. You cannot be powerless. No, you cannot be powerless. Eh? When I'm here, I oh, Jacko. Ah, you cannot be powerless. Uh, let me tell you. Hmm? I have a very vital information which you can use as a potent weapon against the members of. In fact, even against the king himself. Shoot. I'm telling you. Shoot. Okay. Let me tell you something. Somebody told somebody. Who told somebody? Who also told somebody that told the somebody that told me that the king is a bastard? What? Yes. Oh, Jacob, are you sure of what you just said? I wouldn't say it. I mean, you, I'm, you, 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 am, I, am I in the habit of lying? I don't, I don't lie. I always say it the way it is. How authentic is this claim? Very, very authentic. Very authentic. Let me say something. The king doesn't even know his biological father. He doesn't know. So who is his biological parents? The, the late queen, that is King Angomba's first wife, was his mother. But King Angomba did not father him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait. Okay, tell me, since you know all of this, who is the king's father? Who fathered him? How sure are you about this information you just gave? Very, very sure. Very, very sure. Listen, I am the only one who has this information in the entire kingdom. Look at you. How can you be the only one that knows about this in this entire village? <laughs> that is why I'm all Jacko. All Jacko. I have to pull a home more. Home more, all Jacko. I know everything that goes on in this village. Even the king does not know how it happened. He does not know that uh, uh, Ibeka is his father. Ibeka. So tell me, how did everything happen? I want to, in a nutshell, just give it. Tell me. <laughs> My queen, <laughs> I will keep that one to myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> and why will you do that? Yes, I will keep that one to myself until uh, you agree to give me that thing you have been giving to other people. What exactly are you blabbing? What are you saying? Yes. To tell you the truth, you, 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 you make me have perennial insomnia each time I think about your beautiful, sexy body. Honestly, you, you, you are a queen to the core. Eh? Every man desire you. Yeah? Just give me, give me, give me a little. You yeah? shut up. You're such a useless man. How dare you? Look at you. A retarded fool like you. You did ask me to sleep with you? Have you gone nuts? Have you? Uh, listen, my queen. You see, I don't mean to uh, make you angry, but you, you, you are, a, you, you are a very beautiful woman. Hmm? In fact, you have the capacity to, to, to make a, a, any worried man touch everyone by the time you have handled it. Now I have confirmed fact, how you, useless you no, are. No, my queen. I'm telling you the truth. In fact, you are a paragon of beauty. Everything about you, very sexy, very powerful. In fact, you are, you are everything a man would say. And that is why I am surprised that a, a, a beautiful woman like you would, would stoop so low as to give your sexy body to, to, to another, another bad guy. You're a useless man. Are you in any match with Jack? Look at you. You don't know you stink. You're old. You're not my type. And you can never be. How, how dare you ask me to sleep with you? Eh? See, don't ever try this nonsense again. It's yours. Get out! No, excuse me, it does not come to this now. Ah.
It has not come to what? Uh, wait, uh, wait, wait, let's uh, the, now. Uh, since you have refused to dress my bed, uh, give me the money that uh, uh, at least pay me uh, for, for a job well done. This is an information that you cannot get anywhere. No one this knows about this. That I return to you shall be your reward for for this not you you just did. It's yours. of a woman is this? Eh? Why do you know that? After I've given her all the vital information which no one knows in this kingdom. Eh? She, 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 she's treating me this way. Eh? Pay me for the uh, uh, job well done. No. Okay. Give me that thing which uh, you give. Oh, wait. What offense have I committed? No. Did I commit an offense? Did I say anything wrong? Well, I only demanded for that thing she gives to other men, eh? Just give me a little bit of it, a little. And she, she, she flares up, eh? Wait, uh, she thinks she can use me, eh? She thinks she can, she can use me and dump me like that. Eh, it's not possible. It's not possible. I am all jacko. Chief all jacko. I to call a homo. You can't carry that to you, baby, also. I don't want to call John, eh? What's in Korea? Now about weekend. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I must get that in which I want from you. Either by who or by who. Whichever way, but I must get it. That thing between your legs. <laughs> That's it. I must get it. Don't worry. I saw Ichi Ojako. Or was it not Ichi Ojako that I saw? But even if it was not Ichi Ojako, I saw somebody. Where is that person I saw? But I am sure it is Ichi Ojako. How could he have disappeared like that? Hey! Can you imagine? Very cunning man. Ichi Ojiako has been a very cunning man, but <laughs> I've not known him to be this cunning. Only the gods know what is chasing him. Where could he be coming from? Ha! I can't believe this. Ichi Ojiako! Ichi Ojiako! Keep running, oh, wherever you are. Keep running. But I assure you, one of these days, your cup must get filled up. I was even coming towards you so that we greet. But look at you. <laughs> Anyway, you are not even my problem. You are not my problem at all. My problem now is how to face Gladys when I get home. Not you. Idiot. Hey. Uh, hmm? 
I was just giving the, the, the queen the, the first hand information. First hand information. Eh? Hoping that she will pay me as usual. Anyway, it's my fault. Eh? I started requesting for something else. What is this? Um, anyway. Anyway, no problem. If it ain't where okay, say me, okay, say me, are they? There is always a way out of any way. Thank you. No, but let me ask you. This one, you are in my house today. Am I safe? Is everything okay? No, answer me. Everything is okay, you know, Rebecca. You know, you know I, I'm saying this because I know that ever since the last we met at the palace, I have not set my eyes on any of you. <laughs> you know, Rebecca, you're right. You know, since that incident at the palace, whereby Queen uh, Olako and her boyfriend seized our caps. I decided to stay at my home since our king has become a vegetable. Stop! How dare you refer to my nephew like that? I will have you insult my nephew in my very presence. Wait, Mbeto, we finally make this. If you have any better thing to say, say it now because I'm busy inside there, even before you came. Imagine. Oh no, you are busy reading newspaper the time I came. Yes, to know what the country is, what is happening in the country. You are always to drink and walk the streets. You are always to read. You are busy reading newspapers. Maybe the news that brought me here is not of paramount importance. What can be important when you started by insulting my nephew? The king of this kingdom. Hello, Rebecca. I saw Ichi Ojiako putting on the same cap that when Olako and her boyfriend sees from us. Uh, the same cap, not the replica. The same cap. Let me ask you. Are you the one talking? Or am I hearing from you? Drink. Um, oh no, Rebecca. Though I drink, I'm not a drunkard. You saw Ojako? Put it on the same cap. That was it from us. There is something fishy going on between Konolako and Ojako. If there is nothing fishy going on between Konolako and Ojako, why will Ojako disappear into thin air? Fiam! Immediately he saw me. He disappeared. Are you sure of what I'm saying? Oh no, Rebecca. You heard me. I think I'll get going. Thank you. Thank you. I will give you a call next time. Hey! Oh, Jacko. Huh? Let it not be what I'm thinking of. I'm on my way to your house. Ah, as you can see, I'm on my way out. I hope uh, all is well. I can see you're on your way out, but you know, whatever the fowl is chasing under the rain is very important to it. Ichembe to, I hope there's no problem. I saw Ichi Ojako putting on the same red cap that when Olako and her bodyguard seized from us in the palace the other day. Can you imagine that? Are you sure of what you are saying? Ah. Immediately he saw me, he disappeared. Bam! Into thin air. I just like magic. I don't know how he did it. 
but he just disappeared. <laughs> Uchembe too. I know you don't drink much, but I have to be very frank with you. Your statement now can only be compared to that of a lunatic. When somebody says a word, you know his level of wisdom. What you are telling? How is it possible that such a thing will happen? sir. You are making a mistake, a grave mistake, thinking you can insult me. You are just being naive about this. It's just saying, I only come here to tell you what I saw. If you like, believe it. If you don't like, just forget it. But I have told you. I cannot believe what you are saying because it doesn't make sense. It's nonsense. It's, I, I don't like charlatan wasting my time. I don't do it. I don't gossip. I don't do it. It is saying, you are insulting me because I came to tell you what I saw. It's okay. You're going to have a, have a good day if you can. I don't know why. I, I don't like, I don't like taking his words serious. Go, he gossip like a woman. But come to think of it, sometimes there's sense and nonsense. If what he's saying happens to be true, <laughs> that means there's more to this that meets the eye. And I need to investigate it. But is it not better I go home and rest my bones? Eh? Ichi Omadi is the only man amongst the elders and council I have not visited. But do I continue to waste my time trying to convince these old men with retarded brains? I have always known that Ichi Ojako is a spy. Yes, he's a spy. And this evidence now has reinforced my view that he is a spy. It's either he is working for that queen or he is equally sleeping with her. Moment. He can always handle the affair of the royal palace on this stage and he is fit to do so. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. You see, I must say a very big thank you for always coming around to take good care of my father. The royal family will forever be indebted to you. <laughs> it's not in my pants. It's my job as the royal family doctor to do so, my prince. Acknowledged. <laughs> Thank you. My prince, I shall be on my way now. Very well then. I will see you in the morning. Oh, my prince, can I see you briefly? Very well. I'll be behind you. All right. Thank you. Oh, doctor. Ah. Lolo, I shall be here tomorrow morning for the king's rejections and drugs. All right. Thank you, my doctor. Goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking good care of my father. Come on. I'm just only doing my work. Okay? Thank you. I must appreciate you. It's okay, my princess. Mm. I shall see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay, my friends. I'll see you off. Oh, Lolo. Yes, please. Princess, like I told Prince in Kenahin, the king does not need any form of disturbance. Mm -hmm. Allow him rest. I gave him sleeping pills. Mm -hmm. By the time he wakes up, mm -hmm. he will feel better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good Thank night. you, doctor. Good night, doctor. Mm -hmm. I'll see the doctor off. Okay. <sighs> Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. Of course he does. <laughs> and I'm sure your father will be, you know, better tomorrow. Oh my God! What is the meaning of this? Do you want to desecrate 
my seat with your cursed body? Oh. What on earth have I done to deserve this, this woman? How do you sit on this seat? What do I call this nonsense? Now listen, let me tell you something. I am the only, the one and only legitimate queen who has right to this seat. So get yourself off the seat right now before I bounce on you. Oh, like what has come over you again? Nothing has come over me. Nothing. Oh, just shut up. I am old enough to be your mother, so give me that respect. But you are not my mother. What stupid respect is that? Huh. Listen, respect yourself and get off my seat. What is wrong with you? Stay in your space and allow me to stay in mine. This seat belongs to me. I am the queen. Have you gone mad? Don't you dare. Don't you dare speak to my mother with that tune again. And if I do, what will happen? Else, I will beat you up here mercilessly. Oh, God, someone is just talking nonsense. Look at this, this insane entity. Look at you. You open your mouth to talk to me. What are you doing here? You get older every day, you have no idea. Get out there, look for a man, and get married. Leave me in my husband's house, let me have peace. You don't, you don't want to talk to me? You don't want to talk to me? Of course. I will finish you off. Of course. What else do you have to say? What then for you to tell me to go get married? Uh -huh. Don't you dare me, Queen Olaku. Don't you. And if I dare you, what will you do? <sighs> what will you do? <sighs> tell me. Release your sex thing. With that thing, that towel that you call the bodyguard to the internet I'm for scared. it to go viral. I'm so scared. In fact, I'm falling down. Look at this fool. Look at this idiot. This animal. Huh? You release what? Let me tell you, girl, you don't even know how to blackmail. Oh. Yeah, you're just a child. You're just growing up. If you actually have a sex tape, show me. Mm. Give me the proof. Oh, really? Why, yes, you talk too much. Oh, don't you tell me. Don't 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 tell me. Stop this right now. No What's going on here? Sense. What's going on here? Mom. You're here. Watching these two tear themselves apart. When the doctor gave a strict warning to allow our father to have enough rest. Son, is it me you're talking to? Of course, yes, I'm talking to you. You should talk to her. She is the one making so much noise in this palace. Look at them. She is the one making an effect in the palace. Look at them. Royal animals. In front of the one. Is she normal? Obanje! I'm very sure one day she'll get what she deserves. <sighs> Meanwhile, Mom, are you telling me she's responsible for what's happening to Dad now? Obviously. Is there something you're not telling us? Listen, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to tell your children this, please. Just... Mom, we're not kids anymore. We're grown-ups. Yes, mother. Please, tell us what it is. Of course you're grown-ups. Do you know, she is the one who raped your father. <laughs> Do not say. No. Of course you did. No. 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 Of course not. How? All right. I've been expecting you to ask me how. Because Onowu gave your father instructions not to sleep with her again, since she vehemently refused to apologize to us. Boom! She now went and hired that up will be man as her personal guard. The up will be man kept your father on the bed, opened your father's leg, and she jumped on your father with her big heel and raped your father. Where was Jim Punuk? Oh, don't tell anyone. Oh my God. You know, the doctor told me the father didn't fall from his bed, but instead was raped. <sighs> but he didn't tell me who raped the father. 
And again, the doctor confided in me. Father has staphylococcus and syphilis at the same time. What? Who gave your father such yesterdays? Mother, are you seriously asking that question? Of course. <sighs> Who else? If not that slut. My goodness. Staphylococcus and syphilis. Who? Oh. I hope my father is recuperating. Yes, for sure. I'm amazed he's responding to treatments very well. <laughs> oh, father, did you hear that? Yes, my princess. You will be fine in no time. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> uh, I shall be on my way now. Thank you, Dr. Maria. Um, thank you so much, doctor, for all this coming around. You're welcome, my princess. Mm. Ah, please, don't forget to tell the prince I was here. Uh, for sure, I will. Ah, uh, I will see you in the evening. Mm. All right. All right. I must be on my own. Did you hear that? Yeah. You'll be fine in no time. Thank I you. I told you. I'm not even feeling it inside. <laughs> There is confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. Oh, I've been as taking Confusion everywhere. If a man, who set this kingdom on fire? If a man, if a man, open There is confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. Oh, I've been as blind for taking side. Confusion everywhere. If a man, who set this kingdom on fire? Happy for this new development. Yes. You can hardly see it. Can't you see there's a huge difference now? Yes. And I'm better now. Oh, Father. Um, I want to have fresh air. Okay, in that case, let me get your wheelchair. No, that won't be necessary. I hear. Do you want to walk by yourself? <laughs> Oh my god, this is great! Yes, um, where is Lola? She should be in her room. In that case, let's go to her room. Father, I am so happy. Be careful, be careful, Father. It's okay. Be careful. I cannot walk very well yet. Don't worry, Father, don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Yes, come in. Princess, it's you. Yes, ma. Please stop behind you. No, no. Goodness gracious. 
Your Majesty, what a pleasant surprise. Mother, is this not a miracle? Certainly. <laughs> ah, it's certainly a big surprise to your brother. Yes. And a big shock to Queen Olakutu. Because she cost it. Princess. Father. He stopped that at once. Uh, but, Father, how could she connive with that, that son of a bitch to do this to you? How could she? Lolo, how could you? Your Majesty, Miss, I'm sorry, they're, they're not kids anymore. Come on, they just have to know everything that transpired. No one can be trusted with a secret. Your Majesty, I'm very sorry, please. I'm so sorry if I have disappointed you, but... Uh, sorry, please. Sorry, Your Majesty. But, uh, I'll be in the waiting room. I mean, it's not like... They were just asking me. They were putting pressure on me to tell them what happened to you. Sorry, Your Majesty. It will not no fear. Doesn't mean you cannot close your mouth. Ha! Ah, mother, he is my father. And his welfare should be my utmost priority. But at least you should have kept whatever you know to yourself. Come on! A secret of a strong woman is being buried in her belly! Huh! Excuse me. Uh, now, nah, Maka! Uh, where's the food now? What's keeping the food? Uh, 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 have you gone to Mpoa or Umoji or Abatete to bring the food? Get the food, I'm hungry. No, I'll be patient. Hey. I will fall here. Bring food. You are saying you are coming. You are... No, I am here. I'm here now. Huh? <laughs> I'm here to eat your food. Huh? Hmm. It's been no. My wife that I selected for myself. Mm, hmm? no, no. Who knows what would have become my fate if I had allowed them to marry you? Hey. No, no. Please eat your food. Eat, <laughs> eat, eat. Were you not the one that's shouting, you want to fall, you want to fall here? Eh? Eat, Biko, stop praising me. I cannot fall again. I cannot fall again. The food is already here. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I'm very happy. Do you know why I'm happy? No, well, how will I know? Unless you tell me. <laughs> Peace. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing better than peace. Yes, sir. I am the happiest man in this planet Earth. Mm. Mm. You see, I discovered that there is an existing peace and unity in my home. Mm? Mm. Look at, even though there is not much money, but we're okay. Yes. Mm. Mm. We're okay. Every member of my family, no matter how much we eat, may not be much, but we are always satisfied. Huh? Is it not better than when you eat uh, uh, fried rice, fried chicken, fried salad, hmm. and you eat it with uh, bitterness and rancor? Hmm. Is it not better? Hmm? It's better. No, in fact, you are very, very correct. Hmm. Hmm? It's not as if eating uh, fried rice, mm -hmm. chicken, that is not good. No, we are investing in our children so that we can eat tomorrow. Mm. Yes, um, no, Maka. Mm? You know you're a wise woman. Thank you, ma. I'm very happy that I married you. Mm. I don't know what I would have done if I, I had not married you. Mm? Look at look at how the were used his hand to destroy the the once happy family mm. Mm? in his quest to marry a younger queen. Mm. But how could he end up with such a lecherous woman? It was a jackal. It was a jackal. Hmm. It, it, a jackal was pressurizing him, telling him to marry a beautiful uh, younger queen that is befitting to his 
uh, royal status. And he ended up with. I want him. I want him, but trust him. He could not listen. Now he's full of regrets. Huh? That nonsense, useless queen has brought disorder in the royal palace. But I trust the prince, Prince Ikenna, a no nonsense prince who his understands. See, I know that by now he must have given that his uh, father's younger queen her, her rightful place. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know that I even heard that the Queen Olako's bodyguard has run back to his place? What's the meaning of that? No, I heard that he left the palace. Hmm? Where did you get that from? From Chief uh, Umadi. Chief Umadi, you said? Yes, in there. Ah, ah. When did Chief Umadi start engaging in women talk? No, I saw him this afternoon on my way going to the market. King had decided to remain in his palace without calling we the elders in council to the palace. Uh -huh. We don't have any other option. We will remain in our various homes as well. In Asia, nobody is quarreling with his home or his house. Uh -huh. uh, well, check it down. After all, he went and married somebody that is bigger than him. He cannot control the wife. And he thinks he will control anything. No! He is the cause of everything. Well, no problem. I thank God for the prince for being a very bold man and able to checkmate all the money that is passing away and coming in, in the palace. She cannot ruin the palace. She cannot spend all the money. Even that boy he employed as a bodyguard when he they have lots of bodyguard in the palace, maiden and the cook. What is it? Who are you? But no one. The prince is there to check me. That useless and the woman. Moreover, I am very happy about the princess. Hey, she is a man in a woman body. I like the way he chased out that buffoon out of the palace. Or to be a final. <laughs> Thank God. Very, very happy. Nah, nah, you're bad. Good afternoon. 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 How's your family? Nah, we are fine. Oh, it is only hunger. Ah, that one is no problem. It's a general phenomenon now. Nah, mm -hmm. this one you are talking to yourself. I hope there is no problem. Is this queen, no? Uh huh. Is it not that Olak? That is trying to turn the royal palace into something else. That is what is giving me concern and reason to worry. Yeah. Nan, mm -hmm. what has she done this time around? Uh oh. She went and brought Onya Obi to be her personal bodyguard that is following her everywhere. <sighs> Just this afternoon, from a very liable source, I heard that Onya Obi and I go. Huh? And uh, let her lick her wound very oh. well. Mm. Nani, mm. are you telling me the owner will be God has left the palace? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Hey! He left when he finds out that uh, his employer and the lover is a cheap slot. The guy, uh, Awa. Hey! Nani, are you telling me that? Both of them are lovers. <laughs> what will arouse is jealousy if they are not sleeping together? Give up. Hmm. Now, what I don't understand is the reason some men take some actions. That is what I don't understand. Woman, I don't understand what you're saying. Nani, Lolo is a good woman. I don't see the reason why our king will go and marry another woman. Seeing a peaceful woman he has already in Lolo. Eh? How are you talking like this? 
You speak as if you're a stranger to this community. No. He inherited Lolo from her late father, King Anumba. We all know that. He would have left it like that. Rather than bringing this problem upon himself and the entire royal family and the kingdom at large. Huh? Woman, let's leave hmm. that. Tell your husband I'll be coming this evening to see him so that we can discuss some important issues. Hmm? Oh, no, I will tell him. Let me be going. I'm going yes. to the market. Please, yes, do not forget. Thank you. This is was not imposed on him. He was the one that decided to marry her after the dinner of our late king. Eh? And I was only not a boy at your back at the people. Oh, he's a good woman. On a book, I want his mom mad. I don't know why he went to marry another woman. Eh? Hey! He even gave him two beautiful and healthy children. Eh? Ozuri, eh? Hey! Hmm. This is the seventh year of marriage to that woman, and yet nothing to show for it. Not even the sign of miscarriage. Chai! What is even my business in this thing? Hmm? Let me go and buy something and cook for my dear husband. Ah, ah. Hey, say so, Namaka. You mean Ichi Omade was engaging in women talk with you? No wonder you were still cooking by the time I came back. But I don't understand you. I mean, rather than discussing with a woman on the road, he should find his way to my house and tell me the latest gist in the palace. Eh? No. What is wrong with Chief Omade telling me what he told me today? It Am I not a woman of Obodoma Kingdom? Ichi Omadi wouldn't have done that. Eh? As a fellow Igwe in council member, he should come to me and we discuss man to man. How could he be engaging in women talk on the road? Assuming I'm the one with the information, I, I can't go and be discussing it with Ichi Omadi's wife. Eh? Ichi Omadi is a member of Igwe's cabinet. He should come and we talk as council of elders. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what, Una? Eat your food. Let me go and wash the dishes I used to cook. Uh -huh. Eat your food, Una. Eat your mother, wouldn't you? Ah, a whole eat your mother. Go and go with the woman on the road. How could you do that? I cannot do such thing. I'm more than that. I'm above that. I, 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 I know my boundaries. I cannot cross it. I eat your mother just like, 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 like a woman. We're talking rubbish on the road. You're not supposed to be doing that. It's not expected of him. Quinola, you still have not answered my question. I don't understand, Your Highness. I mean, how do you expect me to answer such a rhetorical question? My friend, you don't have any right to talk back at the king like that. And where is that coming from, Ikena? Olako, you must answer the king's rhetorical question, since that's what you call it, and spare us all this rigmarole. Son, let me handle this my way. It's all right, father. Go ahead. Olako, I ask you for the last time, who is Jack? Jack was my bodyguard. We all knew that, because that's what you made us believe. Any string attached? I mean, mm. did you sleep with him in this palace? Your Highness, I wonder why you're asking me such a question. What kind of question is that? Lako. Answer me! I didn't sleep with him. Liar! You're a big liar. That's what you are. Liar! Olako, how dare you lie before my royal presence? I don't understand, Your Highness. I don't get this. 
Did you actually bring me before Lolo and her children to have me interrogated? That's really humiliating. I don't like it. You don't even know how to lie. Father, look at the way she blinks her eyes. A tell-tale signal that she is lying. The truth is, she slept with that bodyguard of hers. Yes. Not once, not twice. Oh. In this palace, under your watch, Father. Yes, Father. Don't say things you're not sure of. You don't just sit down, make up things, and start spewing nonsense. Do not say things you're not sure of, Ikena. It might get you into trouble. Oh, spare me all of that. Father, why are we having all this argument? Ikena, I honestly do not know the reason you are hell-bent on preserving atrocious custom of suppressing women. In the family where I came from, my father does not see women as robots. And that is why he always seeks advice from my mother. And it goes well for them. Queen Olaku, you said your family. Everybody lives his life according to his agreement with God. When are summoned by the king for you to come here and lecture us on marital ethics. Mm -mm. Mother, never mind. The river will soon reach the dwarf mm. where it will reach the waters. I will not take any more insults from this imbecile daughter of yours, Your when Highness. When you like, sit down here. Sit down! And what makes you believe that you are stronger than all of us here? Or is that your own way of trying to dodge my question? There is no question to be answered, your majesty. I'm being insulted here. I told you, and I'm telling you, I never slept with him, and never will I. You know you are lying. Me? Of course! You are lying, Olako. <clears throat> Father, I think we should give Olako here a long robe so she will understand that it's a taboo for a king's wife to sleep with another man yes. in this palace. Uh, uh, Olako, I'll tell you this and I'll tell you one time. If an excretor is deliberately left uncovered, it will keep smelling. You slept with that man. I did not sleep with him. You lied. I said I didn't. Why are you lie? I have not been sleeping with him. Lying. Let us swear by the general mark date that she's innocent of what is she's been accused of. Of course. Father, I know was right. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking towards that direction. Mm -hmm. I smell conspiracy here. And I tell you something. I will never swear before any deity. What? Save us all this and swear before the Omak deity. Huh? Look at Kettle calling pots black. I should swear. What? I don't understand that I should swear before the deity. Did you swear before any deity when you slept with Igwe and Umbas two queens? Ah! Yes, did you? No, no, you can't talk. You are not going to talk again, right? Did you swear before the great Omarko when your identical twin brother Igwe and Umba contracted you to father his children because he was impotent? What? Hello. You're not talking. Well, the only reason Lolo here did not father a child for her impotent husband was because Iguanuba got so jealous that she was salaciously sleeping with his two queens. And then he decried that Lolo here should be exempted. What is this? The truth! 
Oh no. Are you aware of all those things you say? I don't understand the kind of man you are. I thought you were loyal to him as your king. So why did you not tell him that you are his biological father? No, talk to me. Are you my biological father? He cannot say anything because it is the truth. I am speaking the truth. He cannot deny it. He is your father. Oh no. Can we now march to the great dreaded deity? of this kingdom or mark a shrine and swear on our innocence. Just you and I. Oh no. 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 He left. Oh, why won't he leave? He will of course leave. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Are you really sure of what you saw? That the say red cap, the queen sees from us that Ojaka is still wearing his own. Hmm. Do you know that immediately he saw me, he just disappeared, fiam into thin air. Mm. He just disappeared like uh, like magic, and maybe he thought I have not seen him. But what will warrant a red cap chief to see his fellow? Red cap chief and go into hiding. That got me thinking. I I think there is something fishy going on between uh, that Ichi Ojako and Quinolako. Yes. Mm. This is a finding. Why didn't you say it earlier than now? Ichi <laughs> mm. Um Ono Ibeka. Mm and all the other cabinet members that I visited, mm. they, they, they did not believe me, so I thought you two would play deaf. Yes. The old joker will know he's a conny man. And when a conny man dies, on that conny man will bury him. I said it. I know, and I have that strong feeling. He's going behind us to tell the queen on certain things that is not good. Yes. I don't like this old jackal for anything. That's why when the king brought his name to be one of us, I objected. I didn't want it at all. Mm. I rejected it totally. You know, old jackal is like the foolish lizard that spoiled the father's funeral. But he does not know that it is only a foolish man that quarrels with the person that cooks his meal. Very correct. He's just like a foolish cow who has been taken to a beautiful abattoir to be slaughtered and is happy, mm. not knowing that he's going to be killed. You know, uh, people say that when an elder mm. is misbehaving mm. and nobody had the guts to speak to that elder, mm. Someday, someone will put baskets over the head and speak to that same person. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it's your mother. Uh, people say that now you come a million or more. Let us not just sit here and be lamenting like children that just lost their mother. Both of us can go to the palace and complain to the king about what we now know concerning Ichi Ojiako and Quenolako. I don't think we will go to the palace. Let us go and see Ono first and inform him. Uh, let us forget about Ono Webeka now. Eh? Mm. You and I can go to the palace and talk to the king. Just two of us. Which king? That paralyzed king? Paralyzed, yes. Mm. But he is still the traditional ruler of Ubudoma kingdom. Nobody has said that he's not the traditional ruler of Ubudoma kingdom. What can a weakling do? Uh, 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 uh. I take exception to that. I cannot stay here and watch you call uh, the king of our noble kingdom names. No, it's not done. Go to the 
king by yourself. I will not go to the palace with you. Mm -hmm. Not after what the queen and her bodyguard did to me. Mm -hmm. No, over my dead mother, I won't do that. Did to us, Ichi Omade, did to us. Well, if you don't want to go, stay. But mind you that Oboroma, you see, you see this kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the bad eggs in Obodoma kingdom must be fished out. Obodoma, just as her name sounds, mm. must be well again. I say, you say to that. Give her a land of money. Could she be saying the truth? When Olako cannot be far from the truth because I saw the look on Ono Ibeka's face as soon as she dropped that bombshell. <sighs> no, Ibeka, my biological father, but seemingly he has never acted as one. He's my late father's identical twin brother. Mm. One can mistake the identity that I know for sure, but helping King Anumba. His twin brother to father his child is a hard truth I refuse to accept. How come I have never been told this? No, Rebecca. <sighs> Who must have told her elders? Who? Who? Who must have said it? I must find out because the same person has been her reasons for consistently putting up drama in this palace. I must find out. To tell you the truth, Mom, I cannot comprehend all of this. That I know we make a father to your father? It beats my imagination. It does. Yeah. <sighs> she might be right. But the problem here is where does she get the information from? Well, where she got the information from is none of my business. What concerns me right now is, is it true? Your late grandfather, King Anumba, got married to one queen, Queen Nenna, from Udenu Kingdom, in his quest to have an heir to the throne of Obodoma Kingdom. Because his first wife, Queen Adako, was unable to conceive after so many years of their marriage. But even after taking that step, none of the queens were able to conceive. <sighs> so sad. Yeah. Yes, that was the story I was told. Before I came in, your late grandfather had Prince Ahana from his first wife. And the second wife gave birth to Queen Olido. How is it certain that the king did not father the children from his queens? Well, it took him so many years to have this wonderful children, Prince Ahana and Princess Oledo. Believe me, both of them were given birth to the same day. Hmm. Your auntie, Princess Oledo, let her got married to one prince, Namde, who later became the king of Ngudu kingdom, after the demise of his father, who was the king 
of Ngudaland. Well, Queen Nenna died after beating Princess Olido. While the second wife, Queen Adako, died after four years as a result of the contraction she had during childbirth. That broke your late grandfather down so much that he became hypertensive. For losing his two queens, it broke him down. Well, he stayed for a very long time without remarrying, without women. Prince Ahana had already come of age. Who gave his father an advice to remarry? But late Igwe Anumba did not welcome that advice. They battled it. Finally, he accepted to remarry. And that was how I came into the picture. But little, little did I know that I was coming to marry an aged sea king. But mother, if I understood you perfectly well, are you trying to say, in accordance to what Queen Olaku said the other day, that? You are my father's inherited wife. Yes. Ugh. When my late husband died of heart attack, I wanted to leave. I wanted to return back to my parents because I was very young and naive. When I wanted to leave, because Prince Ahana had special likeness for me. He stopped me from leaving and then made up his mind to inherit me. That was exactly the same story father told me about how he inherited his queen. But mother, you should have told us. We are no longer kids. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, I didn't think it was necessary to tell your children. And with all of this right now, it is certain that Ulaku's claims are through. Right. No. Let us not rush into conclusion till we are sure that it is true. Well, mother, if you ask me, I... Yeah. She's a grandmother on how to soak milk. Let it be made known to you this day that your mouth is the cause of the peril that royal family is passing through this day. Your inner character doesn't befit royalty in any way. But hey, relax. Soon, little wind, just very little, will blow. And the anus of the cock will be made open for every eyes to see. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Last forever. Look at her. She's already crying. Now listen to me. This is just a tip of the iceberg to the real thing. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Oh my God. Stupid. Your character doesn't depict that of a queen. Who cares? This is my palace! And I am the only legitimate queen of Obodoma. I govern. Whatever I want, I do! Non-sickable. Maid! There is confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. Oh, I've been as Take inside. Hey, Confusion everywhere. If a man, why a liar? Who set this kingdom on fire? There is confusion and a lot of misunderstanding. But I've been as taking side. Hey, confusion everywhere. If a man, who set this kingdom on fire? Now, please. I want you to go home now. Look at the time. It's already night. I don't like you walking at night. Please try and get back to the palace in safety. Oh, no, Ibeka. Tell me what I'm here to know. Is it true that you are my father's biological father? Kuzikena, I still insist that you should be in the palace by now and not here. Please. Leave this place this minute and go back to, to the palace. I need to find out the validity of King Ulaku's claims. Which is? That the present king of this great kingdom is from your loins. Ah. My prince, why do you take pleasure in wasting your time on Ulaku? What do you see as a flippant talker who can talk without binding words? Spare me all of that, you know. Inasmuch as she is a loose talker, you and I know that she will never give out such delicate information, knowing full well the repercussions if her claims are fallacies. Besides, you never denied her claims yesterday. Why? In that case, my prince, your father is the one that is supposed to be here, and not you. That is where things are done. But no, my father has not recovered since he got that news. If you must know, he has not eaten, not spoken to anyone since yesterday. Uh -huh. That's all the more reason why you should be able to go back, rush back to the palace and take good care of your mom, my nephew, please. Oh no, I beg you. I beg you with everything that I am. Tell me what I need to know. It is very important. Please. My prince, I have seen how inquisitive you are. And I've seen how prepared you are to either restore peace or some other thing in the palace. But at the same time, things must be done the proper way. My nephew, your father is the one that should come for all this and not you. Please just quietly go back to the palace and take good care of yourself. It's already night and I'm preparing, you know, my wife is not here. Oh no, I'm not stepping an inch until you tell me what I need to know. Okay, Oma. Oh no, Whenever the sky frowns with flashes of lightning and thunder rumbling, one needs not to be told that it's going to rain. True, true. I don't need to tell you 
because you know why I am here, and you better be quick in your explanation. You will. Let me ask you one question before I proceed. Do you in any way believe any of those things when Oluaku, in her manners, spewed out yesterday? Oh no, it is written all over you. I saw the guilt in your eyes yesterday at the palace and Queen Ola who cannot be lying with such a hard truth. You and I know too well that Queen Ola is such a woman that cannot be trusted with hard truths. And you know too well that she is not the person to be taken seriously. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Your Majesty, have you taken time to find out who is feeding her with those trash? Oh no. Why not tell me what I want to know? Are you my father? Everyone knows it that Kuduraku is not such a person to be listened to or taken seriously. Oh no, Rebecca, why do you make oblique reference to the Queen? I don't know. Why, why do you rig my role? Why can't you just be straight? Give me a straight answer. Yes or no. Are you my biological father? Oh no. I feel devastated. I feel my whole world and everything I represent is crumbling. For some time now, for decades, could it be that the man I called my father is not actually my father, but someone else? It still makes me sick. I shall send for you in a fortnight. Does it mean you are sending me away? To the palace. I will send for you. I shall be on my way. send me away with a promise that he shall send for me in a fortnight. Could it be true that Onowi Beka is my real father? If he happens to be my father, how am I going to take the hard truth staring me in the face? <laughs> Let it not be true, I pray. Let it not be true. No, Rebecca loves me so dearly and has always been there for me to ensure that my reign as the king of Ubudoma is one to reckon with. He has shown me so much love and support my father would have shown me if he were to be alive. His support 
for my reign is massive. But who has Gudulak been listening to? Who has she been listening to? Why is this fellow hell bent in tarnishing the reputation of the royal family? Anyway, let me deal with this one first. I shall get to find out who was behind this. God of my ancestors, I am a confused man. How can it be said that to know Ibeka is my biological father? A man I have known as my uncle, my late father's twin brother, my real father. Oh, I wish, I wish he was alive to explicitly explain this better to me. Greetings, Father. My friends. Father, I heard that to know Ibika is your father and not Igwe Anumba. So. You can see your father is not in the best frame of mind to speak. Well, Father, I heard you also went to visit him. Did he tell you who your real father is? Listen, Father, he needs to open up to you in order to clear the air. Because the rumor going around the kingdom and beyond is that, Father, are you there? The rumor going around the kingdom and beyond is that to know is the father of the present king of Obodoma kingdom, which is you. So... I would love to be left alone. Father, you want me to leave you right now? Prince, please. It's all right, Father. I leave you in good faith. So you cannot give me mineral? I don't have mineral. You should appreciate the granite that I gave you. Have you heard? Heard what? Which one is heard what? Are you not in this village? So all the rumor that, is, that have been going on in this village, you've not heard? No. You know you always have your ears to the ground in this kingdom. See? I don't want to... Let me know. Okay, see? I did not say anything to you. Hmm? In fact, I did not come to this shop today. Because after saying what I want to say, if I hear any day that you said, that I said, or that I told you that, I will deny you outrightly. <laughs> Kiruka, you don't have to worry about that. Tell me, what did you hear this time around? I heard that um, um, Ono Ibika is the biological father of our king. Nkiru, are you kidding me? Are you sure of what you just said now, or you are just blabbing? Why would I be blabbing? The news is everywhere now. The news is everywhere, but how come I've not heard it? I'm just hearing it from your mouth now, 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 now. Look at you, if it is uh, uh, that stupid boy now with another girl, you hear it very well. See, listen, you know that in this village, it is only me that have the authentic news. And when it is very, very new. So that is why I will hear it before you. Oh yeah, wait, wait. I want to understand something. Did he impregnate the then queen or what? They said our former king was impotent. Impotent. 
um, he pleaded. <laughs> he pl- this they are shouting him. He pleaded with his twin brother to help him father his children. Chimu, 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 nkiruka. See. Ibeka. Eh. That we know now as the Eh. He, he slept with his brother's two wives and fathered his children. Hey! Hey! But wait, too. who told you all these things that you are saying? Inayala. So all these things that I've been singing did not hear it. I know you are not always in this village. You'll be here. It's just you your, this is you and your mother's shop. Hell, you don't hear anything. Hell, hey! Nkiruka! Wait, are you trying to call me a gossip? There you are. Father has refused to eat his food again. He cannot <sighs> continue like this. Do you know, for days now he has been sulking without food. Doesn't want to cause another problem for himself or what? Mother, please. Please. You really need to talk to Father. He can't be doing this to himself. He can't be avoiding food. Oh, you think I haven't done that already? I have. What could be more devastating for a man at his old age to discover that the, the man that he called his father is not actually his father? <sighs> Princess, at this point, I would like every one of us to be calm. Let us hear from or no we baker first. At least he told the Igwe he will be seeing him in two weeks. So I suggest we all be calm. He said that. The Igwe told me that. At least we'll be able to know whether he is his biological father or not. Exactly. I just hope that. It turns out to be a woman. I just hope so. My darling, see, whether it turns out to be true or not, it still doesn't change anything. Hmm? Yes, it would have been a different ball game altogether. If the king's biological father were to be a commoner and not a royal blood. Mother? So in essence, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, the throne still belongs to your father. Mm. <sighs> so, there's light at the end of the tunnel. <sighs> yeah, talk about the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, this one, where are you going to? Where, where are you rushing to? I'm coming to your house, uh, but it's good that uh, we met here. I hope all is well, because since the last incident at the palace, none of you red cap chiefs have ever cared to visit me. Uh, you know, I hope you used to say... Every man has a right to live his own life according to his agreement with his God. That is his chief. It's personal God. Yeah? Listen, I do not follow the crowd. In fact, the crowd should be the ones following me. I, George Jacob Omo. Why are you always good at interrupting people? Why? Uh, when they are talking, why? Uh, uh, please. If you have nothing to say, then get out of my way. But if you have anything to say, say it quickly because I am rushing to afford to see. To see uh, the Benyan. Always rushing. That is very obvious of you. Always in a hurry. Calm down, calm down. Wait, 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 wait. If you are coming to my house to insult me, kindly get out of my way. Let me go to our photo city because I'm rushing to our photo city to see the behind you now. Don't get out of my way. Why should I uh, come to insult uh, my fellow red cap chief? Why? Oh, okay. So, what do you have to say? Please, you come quickly. Let me. Have you had the latest news in town? 
What latest news? That our king is the son of uh, uh, Onu Ibeka. Is that, is, is that what you call news? No, I was under the impression that you were coming with a very fresh news. But here you are calling a very old news latest. It is not a latest news. What do you mean by that? The thing is all over the kingdom, even beyond. That is what everybody is discussing. I call it the old news. How? It is an old news because I've always known that uh, Iba Ngomba is not the biological father of our king. Iche Ojako. Iche Ojako. I'm I'm all yes, I'm listening. I'm not deaf. You say you have always known. I've always known, yes. It's a lie. Yes. Oh, it's fallacy. Which fallacy? No, what is fallacy? What is fallacy to you? Be careful what you offer with your mouth. Be careful. I know you are the originator of this news. Be very careful what you say before you incur the wrath of the gods. I know what you are saying now is because you have eye on that throne. Be careful. You are a retarded old fool. I know of your cable. You know how to understand? I know of your cable. In fact, you 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 are smelly he goats. In fact, you are what the incora of a man will call. Look at him. Ogula. More, more names. It makes me look fresh. Call me more names. Call. Ogula. Call more. 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 Remove your eye from that throne. Look I've told you. Look at you. Look at Yo. you. Chill. Wait, wait. Hey! Uh -huh. Oh, Jago. You did not this a red cap that I could not all I could see from all of us. How did you do that your own back? Oh, Jago. You are very stupid. This thing you are doing. Uh -huh. Now, me, Harry, one day the wind will blow. And we'll see the annals of the fact. We'll know who you are through picture. We'll know who you are. We'll know who you are. You're very stupid, man. I'm uh, very stupid. I'm off your cable. I'm going to I'm going to go for. I will bust this your stomach. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for. So you do. drink your water low very soon. And by the way, let me ask you. Where, 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 where is it? You said you are going to my house. Yes. And I'm going out. Yes. So where are you going to? Look at him. You, you, you know where you are going to. You look, look, look at him. Okay, don't worry. That uh, 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 I do that widow, Mama Kechi. I get put those bound. Your cops will be found between her legs. I'm not here. If not for one thing, anyway. It's exactly two weeks you visited this house last. I'm about to make a shocking revelation. And I already know the consequences of what I'm about to do. I made a vow of secrecy. I entered into an oath. Before the dreaded Oh my God, deity, with my late twin brother Anomba, Igu Anomba. This was how it happened. My late twin brother sent for me. He summoned me to the palace. When I came, he made a shocking revelation of himself. He said that it had been ascertained that he cannot father a child. Are you saying that Iguanumba was important? Yes, it was. Since I've been here for some time now, Igwe Ofunim 
o tu nem eh o fu obara talk to me what is it hi hi ibeka eh won ne nwoke i am finished oh igwe you can't be finished na eh igwe you will not be finished what is it talk to me eh ke yo what is it hi i am done for igwe you are not done anything biko eh talk ke yo Eh, can you open? Hi, hi. Okay, okay. Pick on me. Eh, Ibeka. Eh, eh. When they walk, do you know my two things inability to conceive is practically my fault? How I don't understand. Can you say how? Hi, hi. Ibe, can you? No, no, no. Talk to me. How? Hi, I have failed my ancestors. No, 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 no. Igwe, you have not failed any ancestors here. Eh, Igwe, Ejimam, eh, you have not failed any ancestors here. Biko, talk to me. Can you? Hi. Hi. I visited Afa today. Hey, exactly. We discuss about it before now. Hey, hey, that is why I'm here. So, what did Alpha say? Hey, is it that bad? Very, very bad. Okay, calm down. Hey, see, eh, hey, ufo barakaibo, ufo afo kaise pota. One egg is one egg that form both of us. Hey, hey. So there is nothing on this earth that has no solution. No, the only thing that has no solution on this earth is death. So can you just share, please? Talk to me. Eh? Hi. Hi. Okay. okay, see, let me tell you. Eh? See, eh, a problem shared is a problem half solved. Can you just share little of your problem, Bikonu? Eh? Hi. Hi. Go on to go high again. I first said I am impotent. Impogen. Niambu. Eh? Adronimia. How? Is it possible now? Yin can you mutter six children? You do go moon jimosis. Oh, four baron now. Oh, four egg now. How? I am finished. Hi. Who will succeed me? Who? 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 I have fed my forefathers. I have fed my forefathers. I am a sick. Yeah, no, you way. Young no, do What you mean? Hmm? The gods of our ancestors have provided a better solution to this challenge you are facing on this train. Ibeka. Mm. What is the solution? Um, <clears throat> they spoke to my ear in yesterday night. So they gave me the best way to go about it. I don't understand. Best way? Uh, Your Majesty. The, you know, the ways of God are not the ways of man. So they gave me a better solution to this problem. Ibeka, please, can you stop beating about the bush and tell me the solution that they told you? That is how they told me this thing. I don't know how you feel about it. Um, the gods of our ancestors have told me to give you air to the throne. I don't understand. Wait, Ibeka. Ibe, Ibeka, you want to sleep with my wings? What kind of a brother are you? A brother that has your interests at heart. How? By sleeping with my two wings? Taking advantage of your twin brother's predicament? <laughs> Let me remove the Igwe first. Anumba, that's the name they gave to us. Ibeka and Anumba. Anumba, 
I am providing a better solution to this your predicament. Ikenga cannot give anything. He cannot produce any heir to the throne. So what I am here to do for you is to help you. And that was what the ancestors, the gods of ancestors have told me. And that is what I am doing for you. Oh, wait. Do you want this throne to leave our lineage? Do you want the throne to leave our Isuahawakam clan? Eh? I don't understand. Please, Ibeka, can you please leave my palace now? I should leave your palace. Leave my palace! Wait, is it because I'm here to find a solution to this predicament? That is why you are asking me out of your palace. Okay, I will go. But let me remind you that I will not sit and watch this throne leave our clan. Oh, my, my, my. Igwe, take care of yourself. Ibeka! It's okay, my brother. Take it easy on yourself, okay? Everything will be fine. I sent for you, and I must thank you for honoring my invitation. <laughs> what are brothers for that? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I must tender my apology. Okay. The way I spoke to you the last time, the way I sent you away from this palace. <laughs> you are my twin brother. Apology accepted. But my concern is about this kinship, about this throne. See, it's a thing of joy that Ufa from Ufa Wa Utunim is the king of this great ancient kingdom. It's a thing of joy. It's an honor to our family. Igwe. Thank you so much, Ufunim. You are welcome. I sent for you to tell you that I have thought about our last discussion. Okay. Okay. I give my consent. Igwe, you mean you have accepted? Yes, but on one condition. Okay. That both of us are going to swear an oath of silence before the dreaded Omaku deity. Mm -hmm. That both of us will keep this as a secret. Any of us that says it to anybody must surely die. I shall go with you to the shrine of Omaku to swear an oath to say my mouth. Igwe. One more thing. My queens must not know that you are the one sleeping with them. Okay. You know we are identical twins. Mm. And I want you to make it so easy that none of them will know that you are the one sleeping with them. And you know my reasons. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Don't mm. force it on them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pico. Mm. And again, one more thing. Mm. Before you go, 
you must ask me the last discussion that I discussed with them. Okay. Very important. Mm. That one is very important. Let us cultivate in the farm of whom we came. There is no need to waste more time because of what I am must be eaten while it is still hot. Igwe Anumba, step in. Repeat after me. Ah, Igwe Anumba. Ah, Igwe Anumba. I swear by the dreaded Omar Kudeiti. I swear by the dreaded Omar Kudeiti. That I shall allow my twin brother. That I shall allow my twin brother. Ibeka to be sleeping with my two queens. Ibeka to be sleeping with my two queens. In order to give me an heir. In order to give me an heir. And I shall keep this a secret forever. And I shall keep it a secret forever. The day I divorce this secret. The day I divorce this secret. I shall die. I shall die. Step aside. Ibeka. Boom, 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 and go. Eyes of the gods. Repeat after me. I, Ibeka. I, Ibeka. I swear by the dreaded Omar Kudeiti. I swear by the dreaded Omar Kudeiti. That I shall sleep with the two queens of my twin brother. That I shall sleep with the two queens of my twin brother. In order to give him an heir. In order to give him an heir. And I shall keep it a secret forever. And I shall keep it a secret forever. And any day I divorce this secret. And any day I divorce this secret. I shall die. I shall die. Igwe Anumba. Ibeka. You men have sworn before the dreaded deity. If any of you divorce this secret. If any of you default. You shall face the death penalty. Say, say, he say, he become my brother. Yeah, I know my brother. One name will kick a four battle, oh, four, four, oh, four, one. Go look up on the woman. The die is cast. Hmm? Uh, my first queen, hmm? this is our ovulation period. Mm -hmm. Please, I want you to use that your strength hmm? that you use on your wife to give you six children. I want you to use it on her. Yeah? Let me see whether things will change. Biko, take it easy on her. Uh, yes. Uh, you know now, uh, if I take it easy on them, uh, it will not yield good thing. I need to use every strength in me to use it on her so that it will yield a good result. I understand. But please, mm. take it easy on her uh, one more thing uh, my second queen i am not sure of her fetal days um, but you can equally try her yes, you can go to her room what, and try. Oh, why why are you doing like this now eh? i don't have that kind of strength to be going to women at the same night now it's not possible I'm sorry for offending you i was you know trying to know whether you can go uh, two of them at the same night that's, that is only my uh, He's okay. <laughs> See, eh? Ufu Obara. Ufu Afo. Ufu Ne. Eh? Udu Ne. I was only joking, oh. See, mm. let me tell you, I can even go 10 women at the same night. Huh? Eh? Ha! 10 rounds. Round, round, round. One, 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 one. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Hmm. Ibe Ka. Ha! Ha! You are a dog. Mm. In fact, dog is more better than you. Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm. But let me warn you. Mm. Take it easy on my wife's. Biko. Yeah. Biko pa. Yeah. Yeah, go it now. I'm going to play your part as he beka here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When your wife uh, Obiageli and your children will come back from their evening mass, mm -hmm. they will see me as you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
then you will go to the palace mm. and play my part. Okay. Yeah. And okay. the driver, the driver is outside there. Mm. Hmm? Mm. He will take you to the palace. Mm. Please. Okay, they can. You can work I understand. Hey, Maka, you do okay. Go feet, can you now? Go feet, go feet. All right, I will be on my way now. All right, okay. okay. I, I reach out now. You go in Jari. Okay, but you go now. I reach out. Course of our land. I pray it works. I wonder what might be keeping the king out late by this time. He have not stayed out late like this before. I just pray he's safe wherever he is. I pray he's safe. He is? I am worried. He told us that he wants to go and discuss something with his brother. <laughs> and I wonder what crucial discussion he might be having with his brother. That is keeping him this late. Those two. Oh, those two, they are inseparable. And the love between them is so strong. It makes me feel so happy. I know, they are identical twins. That makes the bond between them so strong. Yes, so strong and... Yeah, nothing or no one can come between them. It gladdens my heart whenever I see them together. Can I say that again? <laughs> oh, wait, you man. They behave as if they are still children, always with each other. <laughs> we are so lucky. Yes, we are blessed by the gods. <laughs> yes. Oh! Talk of the devil. He's here. Me. You know what to do? Let me get outside his food before he come yelling. Okay. You know him? He doesn't know him. Don't worry, let me wait for him here. Okay. Oh, my thing. Oh. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. <clears throat> I was so worried. What kept you? You know my twin. Yeah. I'm famished. Don't worry. Your food will be served soon. Okay. My husband, mm -hmm. the pride of Ubudoma. Where have you been? You kept us worried. My twin, I am here now. So, <clears throat> how are you? I'm fine, Your Highness. You see tonight? Is going to be a marathon night. Ah, I am going to take you. Hey! This night, oh my queen, I will make sure I shift your womb. My king, please, so. No, I'm not going to leave you. You know, I'm not going to leave you. This time around, when I hand you, you'll be screaming, My father, my father, Name, Name. My, my king. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I don't have strength for all that. Oh, why are you behaving like this? See, eh, I prepared myself for you. This night is going to be a night you will never forget in your entire life. You see, this night, in Kotage, you will be shouting your father's name. Namo, Namo, Namo. I, my king is enough. It's your food. It's getting cold. I know it's getting cold. But I'm telling you the truth. You see this time around, you are going to feed me. So, wash your hand and feed me. <laughs> okay, your highness. <sighs> oh. oh! How did you know that I'm going to watch you tonight and you prepare this delicious onubu and the pandadiyam oh <gasps> my king what's all the drama for the stress on the bed when at the end of the day the results will still be negative oh this time around is going to be different more and i am going to knock it ka, 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 ka. My my king, eat your food. It's getting oh. cold. Yes, I know it's getting cold. I, I will keep my hope alive. I'll keep my faith alive. I know one day the gods will hear our prayers and bless oh, us. Why are you women so faithless? Yeah? See, let me tell you, this night is going to be a night you will never forget in your entire life. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! So delicious. <laughs>
Mm. Uh-huh. What is the order of my queen? She's in her chamber. She's in her chamber. Welcome. See, eh? after eating this food, I'm going inside my room to take my bed. I have mm. heard you. You've said it before. Mm -hmm. To knock your upper coat. <laughs> you see, you will forget your name. My king. Mm -hmm. It's the inspector in the food, though. I know. It's very delicious. Tonight, can double give you a double. Hey! I'm telling you the truth, my queen. Hey! Mm. Tell me the truth. Mm. Tell me the truth. My king. My king. Please, now, enough of the talking. The food, there's pepper in there. Oh, yes, there's pepper. Yes. Mmm. What was that for? What, my queen? Ah, you wanted to tear me apart. Ah, didn't you enjoy it? Ah, ah, um, where did you get the strength of two men from? Strength of two men put together. Huh? It's not like you, yes. But I told you I'm going to squash you. I also told you that you will scream your father's name. Hey, didn't you do that? <laughs> hey, so my husband, you can actually go up to three to four rounds without getting tired. Huh? You haven't seen anything. See, from now on, eh, you are going to enjoy your husband day after the night. <laughs> My husband! <laughs> hmm. It seems you really went to your brother's house for his first lecture. Because this is new. This is all like you. <laughs> that means I made you reach orgasm. <laughs> Oh, I'm no. so happy that you are now satisfied. Unlike before, you were telling me uh, you cannot even satisfy me. You cannot satisfy me. And I know that that is a thing in this room. <laughs> you say, oh, I feel so. <laughs> no, 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 your highness. No, 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 no. I don't want any more. I'm tired. Ah, did, you, did you want to shift my room? But I'm tired, though. <gasps> My queen, mm -hmm. you know it is your turn to take me all through the night. Are you not the one running now? Ah, um, your highness, I have to run because this is your new power. <laughs> I don't understand it oh, wait, anymore. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not satisfied. Bro. I'm not satisfied. Or do you want me to go to uh, uh, Queen Nena's room? Your highness, you can go after all. She's my co-wife. You can go. Yeah. Mm. You can go, Your Highness. But, no, but, no. But I'm not Your satisfied. Highness, Queen Nenna is waiting for you. Hi. Your Highness, Your uh, Highness. Oh. The baby will remove. Oh. The baby, you know, you just put egg inside me. You shift it out. Oh. Uh, your Highness, we want an air. Don't shift our air out. Uh, your Highness, good night. Yes, I know. I wanted her all through the night. But she says she's tired. She's tired. I'm a pantimetra. Gugoni. Oh, she gave you at all. Gugoni. Yes. Then my king, you should be sleeping by now. Go back to your chamber. No. This night is not a night to sleep. See, this night, you are going to sleep like a baby after I've given you real heart. Hey. My king, please. 
I am tired. I want to sleep, please. <laughs> you can't sleep now. <laughs> My king. I don't understand. See, please. I am not in the mood. Don't start something you cannot finish. Eh? You know, this thing, I know I like it. I, li I love it more than you. Yeah. But, you know, after all this thing, I will not be able to satisfy me. I ah. don't feel like you're real. No. Eh? After I might have finished handling you this night. <laughs> You keep screaming your father's name, but your father will not be here. You know what I will do to you? Where do you learn all this sweet talk? Eh? <laughs> Don't worry. Eh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. See, tonight is a night. My king, I don't want. Oh, calm down. Please. <laughs> this night. Oh. oh my god. Oh my king. No. <laughs> You did not sleep last night, and you have bluntly refused to tell me your wife what is wrong with you. What is it? Obiageli, talk to me. Obiageli, unyo kuna babi ona chuke. Yeah, please leave me. Fire kwa. Unai, what what fire are you talking about? Obiageli, Obiageli, yeah, oke neri onye muanya. Mana o nan no now. Okay, neri, okay, neri yem. Please leave me. Like seriously, you are getting me confused. Talk to me. Stop speaking in riddles. Tell me so that I will understand. Just talk to me. I will understand you. Obiageli, go to the farm. Tomorrow we will go together. Biko. No, this is unlike you. How do you expect me to go to the farm alone? How do you expect me to harvest those cassavas alone? Eh? Obia Geli. Obia Geli. I will go I say go to the farm. Tomorrow, uh, both of us will go together. Because stop disturbing me. Stop disturbing me. Morning already. Yes, it's morning. <laughs> Can we I have to go and take my bed and be ready to discharge my duties? <clears throat> oh, that is true, my king. I almost forgot. But my king, I hope I'll see you tonight. Of course, ma'am. Of course, you shouldn't forget <laughs> that today <laughs> is my original night. <laughs> In a busy <laughs> So that we can <laughs> yeah. I'm not yet tired. You don't need to say that. I'll make sure I come tonight. Are you serious? Are you yes. sure we'll not go one more? No, 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 no. Let me go. Let me go. Just like that. Look at time. Eh? This is the car here. Oh, ah, fuck up the devil. He's here. Come, 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 come. Ah, I saw this. Why, why, why are you shouting? Eh? 
Don't you know that the world's half years? No, no, nobody is here. I saw your wife leaving as early as possible to the farm. And I even had her telling your children that went to school that she's going to be there and to arrest your cassava. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, now let's go inside. Go inside. Hey, 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 what? What, what, what is it? What? Don't do that. What if, if my wife enters here? Go. Which wife? Eh? Which wife? Please come and give me my car. See, 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 see. And number what? Why the swelling face and, and, and eyes? See, you, you shouldn't have suffered perennial insomnia because everything worked as we planned. See, let's go inside. Go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, calm down. Let's go and see. I'm so, calm, I'm calm. Let's go in. No, no. Let's go and see it so that I will tell you everything you must know before you go back to the palace. Come, let's go. And don't touch this car, boo. Be going now. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Eh? You go sit down now. Why are you standing in, in, in your own brother's house? Sit, sit down. Ibeka, mm -hmm. just give me this thing. Let me go. But why are you angry? Why are you not making me look silly? Eh? You consented to this before I unbuck on it. I even went extra mile to swear before the dreaded Omaku shrine. Just to show you how much I love you. And you are making your face as if, as if I've done something silly. Ibeka, Ikusigo. Ikusigo, see, the kingship of this kingdom is a jeopardy. You should be considering this. Eh? Eh, one more thing. Hmm? I told your queens that I read book on sex, which made my sexual ability to be very, very active. Even your second queen was enjoying it. Your second queen is very active. She was yawning. Oh, give it to me more. Give it to me more. I need it more. Give it out. Um, Biko, I need my royal affair. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you behaving like this? Why are you like this? Why are you not making me look bad? Eh? I'm only helping you here. And I, I, I tell you, you need your, 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 your royal attire. See, I don't want you to go in the palace. I blow everything up. That's why I'm telling you everything that conspired between your queen and I. I know that you are doing, you are behaving like this. Don't touch this car, no. Oh, go see. Can you please give me my attire? But uh, can you give it? Can you give me your idea? What is all this? Eh? Okay, uh, let me go and remove it. But try to understand that I'm trying to help you here. I'm helping you here. Hey. Oh, yeah, calm down, calm down. Let's go. Let me go and remove it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. You don't force me. You consented to this thing. This thing I'm doing now, you consented to it. That make me to embark on it. Don't, 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 are you done? You can come now. What is it? Why are you annoyed? Eh? We are twin brothers. Ufafo, Ufiriri, Ufafwa. Let me tell you, you should even be appreciating that I help you to do what you could not do. Eh? Eh, you can your manhood or gakumu like this. You can gakumu like this. Eh? Have your queens ever asked you to come more? Hey, give it to me more. Yeah. yeah are they ever screaming your, 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 your presence? And you, 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 you are making me be a Ibeka, thank you so much. May the gods bless you. Can you come and give me my shirt? No, 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 what is it? You must force me to go and remove the, the, the royal attire. You put one now. You are forced me. Go, 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 give, give, give me my, my stuff. Please come and come, come and remove this thing. Let me, let me leave here. Okay. I need to leave here. I need to be in the palace. Because somebody I'm even helping. I'm even helping you. I, you supposed to tell me that you 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 supposed to build one shop for me. And you are telling me this. Come on, will you? Ibeka, Ibeka, Ibeka. I don't want to shout again. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, give me this thing. Hey, 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 don't push me. Don't, don't push me like that. What is it? What do you mean I should not push you? Good morning, Captain. Now I'm going to change you. Please come and come, come and remove this thing. Let me let me leave here. I'm, I, I don't. Hey, know, hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Do you want to? Hey. Hey, 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 when am I coming tonight to continue where I stopped? Huh? Yes, now, if you have to come back to me now, have you do heard about it? See, I have to come back tonight to continue from where I stopped. Yeah? Ibeka, see, stop looking Ibeka. at me like that. Yeah? See, let me tell you, the truth about this is I need to keep coming, keep coming until you get matured. Ibeka. Ibeka, eh? I told you one of my wives 
is in her ovulation. Mm -hmm. And the one is enough. Mm -hmm. I don't need your services anymore. Please. Uh -uh, please. Once is not enough. Igwe. One is not enough. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had it? No. Eh, stop doing this thing. I, 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 you are putting this place. See, I need to keep coming. I need to keep coming. I need to keep coming to give you air apparent to the throne of Obodoma Kingdom. Enough. Enough. Ibeka, enough. Why are you using this opportunity to, 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 to sleep with my wife eh, because you want to give me air apparent to the throne of Obodoma Kingdom? Eh, eh, Igwe. Igwe, try to understand this thing now. Eh? Why are you making it look like this? Eh? 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 See, I'm not even enjoying it, though. Yeah? Let me tell you the truth. Swear. Swear with this offer that you are not enjoying it. Swear with this offer. I'm not enjoying it. Swear with this offer. Nonsense. Like there, don't go anywhere. Igwe, stop shying away from your responsibilities. Do the need for Igwe. Do what you're supposed to do as our husband. What, 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 what are you trying to do? Go stop, 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 stop. It's my turn to have you tonight. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, I am not cut off for this now. I want to sleep. You people should leave my room. Why? I left my chamber to this place. You people followed me. Yeah, I am not cut off for this. Please, I want to sleep. Igwe, you both should leave. Let me tell you. I cannot stop. You cannot sleep. Oh. Uh -uh. Why are you denying us our rights as your queens? What is the problem? Eh? You had sex with us two weeks ago and you promised to continue having sex with us. Since then, nothing to show off it. Are you no longer a man? Are you not the same man that had sex with us this two weeks ago? See, I am not ready for this. Can you both please leave this place? No, no, why should we leave Igwe? Uh -huh. Igwe, stop it. Stop denying us our rights as, 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 as your legal wives. When you're queen, for goodness sake. Stop denying us our conjugal rights. Abe, Igwe, you have to, you have it's to time to do this nice. You're not going anywhere. Stop. Igwe, you want me to shift your neck. Igwe, I shift. We'll do it. Igwe, lie down. Lie down. Oh, we'll do it. Lie down. Lie down. Your Highness, please, we want to talk to you. Sit back, please. What is it? Your Highness. Are you not happy that we're finally pregnant? The reason I ask 
It's because whenever you see us, you will want to leave. More so, you have not touched us ever since that night. The doctor advised that you do it as often as possible. So it will, 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 will deliver safely. It will help us doing our child's best. Your Highness, we do not want anything to happen to us nor our child. Is that all? Yes, Your Highness. Now, you both should go back to your rooms. So, my king, are you promising me that you're coming to sleep with us tonight? I never say so. Then what are you saying, Your Highness? I really don't get it. Are we going to remain like this forever? What? What is wrong with you? How can you say something as awful as that? It's abominable. My instance never fails me. I know he was not the one that slept us that night. What did I just hear you say? Just keep quiet. My king, can you swear before the dreaded unmarked date that you are the one that slept with us that night? What is wrong with you? Just shut up already. How dare you sit before me with such audacity to utter such words that you don't know even if it is true. I'm, I'm sorry, my king. Please forgive her. What is wrong with you? Just apologize to the king at once. I do no such thing. My king, swear before the dreaded unmarked date and you will die because I know it was not you who slept with us that night. It was your twin brother. Ibeka, that slept with us that night. Just, just shut up. Yes, my king. I am sure of what I'm saying. It was not you. It was your twin brother who slept with us. Just stop it. Stop it at once. I refuse to be quiet. How can he put us through this torture? We are pregnant and he refused to do the needful as a man. I have been quiet for six months. I can't keep quiet again. Your Highness, Your Highness, this is all your fault. This is all you're doing. Had it been you do what you're supposed to do as a husband, all these things would have occurred. She would not even cook up these lies. You both should leave my presence this minute. I am done with you people. You think I don't know that you arranged with your twin brother to come and get us pregnant because you couldn't do what you're supposed to do as a man. Just stop. Stop already. Stop this nonsense already. Stop saying things that you're not sure of. Why are you so daft? To notice that it wasn't him that night. It was his twin brother. She came on, Nogi. Keep quiet. All I'm saying is you should come and sleep with us. As the doctor instructed. Because if anything should happen to me or my baby, I will hold him responsible. Where are you going? Come and do your duty as a man. Are you running away from your responsibilities? If anything should happen to me or my baby, <laughs> you will hear from my family. Greetings, your respected king of Ogodoma Kingdom. What is it? Your queens are in labor and they demand your presence. Hmm. 
Yes. Speak. Igwe. Speak. Igwe, your queen is delivered safely. So, a boy and a girl. Thank you, cause of our land. Thank you for your benevolence. Thank you so much. So, which of the queens gave back to my son? Igwe is Queen Adaku. Oh. I knew it because of her ancestors. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yes. One of the queens did not make it. What did you just say? So, which of the queens? Igwe, Queen Nena, died after giving birth to the princess. Oh, no. Igwe. Igwe. Yes. Queen Adaku is in poor state. Pray that the gods should preserve her life. No. What have I just done? What have I just done? Are you saying you are my father? Hmm. I was only helping my mother. Uh, that does not answer my question. Are you my father? I, I, uh, anyway, yes. You and Princess only are my biological children. I am sorry for keeping it away from you, but. That is an old binding my little brother and I. Not open mouth, my mouth and say anything like that to anybody. No, Rebecca, my biological father. No wonder you have always been there from the onset. Right from the day I was enthroned as the king for Budoma Kingdom. You have shown me so much love and support. I never envisaged you are doing all that because I'm your blood, your son. Father. Son. Sorry for keeping this away from you for so long. Father, you have shown me this day that a man should not be such of too many words. You kept the secret secret of over 61 years away from both Queen Oledo and myself and it shows you are a good man. That is a repercussion. Great repercussion. Great consequence for what I've just done. What could that be? Before this time tomorrow, I must have joined my ancestors. What? I told you that. That is an oath of secrecy binding my brother and I. And for divulging this secret, the penalty is dead. What? Huh. But getting my son, who have stayed away from me for so many years, acknowledging me as his father, is a thing of joy. And you'll find my cause. Take it to Omaco. Shrine. 
it belongs to our deity. And know it now that I shall not be mourned. What? Had what? Listen. Uh, oh no, Wei Beka is dead. In fact, he has joined his ancestors. Hey! You try to I hope this is one of those hocus pocus. Oh, listen to me. That is not what you joke with. Eh? He was found on his bed this morning. Stone dead. Stone dead. Hey! Oh, no. Hey! Manana. Oh no, we better out when you boom mad with such a noble man. But it's just like that. Hey! Just like that. In fact, I'm rushing to the palace to discuss with the king. Yeah, let me let, let us know what to do about it. Hey, yeah? let, let me go with you. Yeah. Hey! But yeah. you have to run as far as your big stomach can. Uh, uh, let's, let's go. Uh, let's go. I don't, hey. I don't oh, want no, you to shoot on the road. Yeah, right back. Igwe, is it true? Wait. Hello. Is, is, is it true? Is it, is it, is it true? Is it? Your Majesty, what we heard is it true that Ono Webeka just kicked the bucket? And a coco, you know, coco kick bucket, and a bucket, a bucket, and a bucket, and a bucket, just joy and strength. Only we began on round. Is he dead? We go to bucket. Maybe. Hey! How do you mean? How? How do you mean? Eh? So, you know, hey, he was a very strong man. He never showed any sign of sickness. Eh? Chai. I saw him yesterday. He was hell and hetty. We exchanged his pleasantries. He never complained of any he helped. Chai. I personally visited him early hours of yesterday. He spoke about his death. <laughs> you saw his death. How? He was talking about it, but he talked in parable, so I did not understand what he was saying. Honestly, believe me, he saw his death. Because you are daft. You are daft. You there have no parable. Ordinary parable. You don't understand parables. You should have alerted us. Now, go ahead. Joy! You go. Oh, bam, 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 bam. Mm. Hey, no, we beggar. Well, now that the owner we beggar is dead, eh? I think you should appoint another owner who from amongst us. Eh? So, uh, the, 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 someone will have to fill the gap. You know what you mean? It's your jackal. Okay. It's your jackal. <laughs> We just lost a nobleman of this kingdom, or no, we beggar. Don't you have conscience? We shouldn't be talking about his successor. It's too early. Can you information? information, Minister of Information. Okay. No, tell me what wrong. That's it. No, what wrong that's it? Yeah? As I said, we have to appoint someone to um, from amongst us, someone who is still active. Yeah? To replace uh, the, the, the dead. In, in that way. Oh, oh, wait. Don't you know that that seat is very, very important? Someone has to be there. Give an agaga. Yeah, land Bigo. Land Rover. Okay. Land Rover, no. It's your joke. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he never can come on us. Small children. Is that the information you want to give me? Yes. 
Minister for Information. Look at you. Now, look at you. Now, child for one hour. Look at you. Me first girl for one hour one day. Mark I go to Odasia. Now, child, you remember? Anyway, you be sorry. Now, uh, you, you see. My elders. Allow us mourn our loss in peace, please. Yeah. 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 It's also our own loss too. Eh? I mean, his death came to us as a rude shock, very rude shock. Eh? In fact, you know, uh, you, the elders here are, are both aggrieved and uh, believed. Eh? I mean, I don't understand him, I mean. Yeah? But we have to go, the show must go on. No matter what happens, we have to appoint someone to continue in the, instead of oh no, oh no, we beka. I don't know who has to be appointed. Hmm? Igwe, I'm not mean eh? Igwe, Igwe, let me talk. Talk now, we talk, talk, talk. Igwe, eh? please, on behalf of the council, we want you people to take a heart. To be able to bear this irreplaceable loss and let God Almighty give you the fortitude to carry on. Thank you. Please. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I do think because uh, as I, uh, I think uh, we should deposit his corpse in the mortuary to give us time to plan for his burial. A defeating barrier for the first time. What if you wish? It's your jackal. There will be no need for that. Oh no, whose cops shall be taken to the shrine of Amaku deity? Maka what? Why do you say so? What? His body belongs to the dreaded Omaku deity. Father. Onowu Ibeka was a noble man. He was a traditional prime minister of this royal kingdom. He deserves a befitting burial, just like Ichi Ojaku has stated. Um, listen, I love you. Onowu will neither be buried nor mourned. Anyone who tries to go against this will automatically incur curse and the wrath of the Omaku deity. This is my verdict. <laughs> Ibe, Ibe, tell me, be careful with him. Ibe, does it mean that that's optana? Oh, muke ma, Ibe ka. O metro pai, o na o o melo give na be auto no, eh? O melo auto no. Did they commit any crime against the the mama? Oh, Jacko. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Ibe. Enough. Please, kindly accept my condolences. It's all right, Doctor. I shall be on my way. It's all right, Doctor Mario. My princess, please tell the prince I was here. Okay. I'll tell him as soon as he comes back from the office. I really appreciate you. It's nothing. 
Mm. You're welcome, my princess. Uh, princess Nima, I want to entreat of a favor from you. Um, okay. Can we have a date tonight? Yeah. Princess, please. I will not take no for an answer. Okay. Do I take that to be yes? <laughs> yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> For real? Yes, of course. I was thinking you're going to bluff. <laughs> Why would I do that? All the same. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy. Yeah. Let me You're rush welcome. back to work. Please do take along. care of yourself. All right. See you, you later in the day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Has it gone? Oh, yes, he left already. Mm. He asked for a date. Mother, you overheard us. <laughs> While I watched from the window. Ah. <laughs> oh, mother. He really oh. likes you. I can see it from his eyes. <sighs> Oh, mother, stop. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you, do not chase this young man away. I'm certain that the feelings will metamorphose to marriage. Mother, come on. He might be the prospective in-law we've been waiting for. But mother, he hasn't said anything to me yet. You do not expect him to say it's Fabaton. Build a relationship with him first and watch him say it at the right time. Mm. Hey. Mm. Now listen. Do not force him to propose to you if you understand what I mean. Okay. Don't be desperate to fall into his hands. In other words, do not play loose. Mm. <laughs> ah, thank you so much, mother. And mother. What? You are indeed a relationship girl. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. I'll take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, mother. It is well with you. Thank you so much. It's nice. Do you like it? Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, if you don't like it, I can tell you to fix something nice for you. I don't like it. I just love it. Mm. I'm glad you love it. Mm -hmm. No. This place is classic too. Yeah. Oh, for a classic princess like Princess Mama. <laughs> you should have your way with words. Thank you, my princess. Ah, did you have to bow? Oh, ah. I'm sorry, my princess. Mm? Again? Ah, please, forgive my manners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm just done with you. Come on, <laughs> just you're a princess, you know. Beautiful one for that. You know what? I'm just done with you. <laughs> Mom? Hello, sweetheart. I have been looking everywhere for Mama. Where is she? Mama went out with Dr. Mario. Which Dr. Mario are you talking about, Mother? Our own Dr. Mario, of course. He asked her for a date. <laughs> and the man that I know Concord. She didn't bluff. The thing is this, I think Ma really likes him too. Which was the reason she accepted to go out with him. Hmm. So how long has this been going on? Well, he came to pay us a condolence visit this afternoon in the palace, so... Then he asked Mama for a date. Wow. Great news. <laughs> That's a good news, if you ask me. I hope she doesn't chase that nice guy away like she normally do. Hmm. Does it too. But I spoke to her at length about it. And I pray she doesn't mess up this time around. Seriously, Mom, I don't know what is wrong with that girl. I tell you, I don't know what's wrong with her. Princess Mama. Yes, Doc? My Princess, can you please drop this doctor or Doc and call me Mario? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mario. Mm -hmm. My Princess. Mm -hmm. Do I have a place in your heart? I like you a lot. I mean, you're the kind of woman for me. I don't understand you. Did you bring me out here, Mario, to woo me? Oh, I'm very much all right, my love. <laughs> Wait, what did you just call me? Princess, please, don't push me out. If you do, I will simply take my life. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> love, love is what is wrong with me. I have admired you secretly. Oh yes, you had me. Every day I go to bed thinking about you. Please, don't push me out. Of course I won't push you away. You mean you won't push me out? Mm -mm. <laughs> I like you too. Oh, you do? You're a nice guy. <laughs> it means we can Build up a relationship, right? Mm. I'll take that smile to the yes. <laughs> <laughs> so can I get the hug? Oh no, come on, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to rest. I have a bed. You are not sleeping tonight. Greetings, mother. Sugar hearts? Sweetheart. Mother. You're back. Yes, sir. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. How was your day? Pretty nice. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you came back on time, so dinner will soon be set. Ah, no, mother. You guys can go ahead and do dinner. Well, I had. You went out on a date with Dr. Mario. Yes, I did. So. I see. <laughs> How did it go with your date? It was good. Very well, mother. <laughs> <laughs> mother, I'm really tired now. I'll just go and freshen up and go to bed. 
looks at that. She's blushing already. Yeah. Well, I hope she doesn't mess this one up. Oh, get out. Nothing, nothing will happen. This time is for real. Well, I hope so. I better go to the kitchen. You're just the saddest. Clear, clear. Mom. Again? Where could we no lack of be with her phone switched off? And this is about 10 p.m. My queen is still out. You should be in bed. How do you mean? He whose house is on fire does not go about chasing mice. My queen is yet to be back and you're asking me to go to bed. Who does that? Well, that's the main reason why you should ignore her and go to bed. You're an old man. So you need rest. Sometimes, sometimes I don't understand you, friends. I don't understand. Well, Father, the earlier you understand that Olako is here on a mission, the better for all of us. There you go again. What, what mission? Mission for what? She's here to destroy, Father. Can't you see it? My son, I can see nothing. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not. Well, if you claim you can't see nothing, then you must be under his spell. Well, well, will you shut up? I'm not under any spell. I'm only concerned about my queen. She could be in danger. Well, if you must know, she's not in any form of danger. Rather, it is us who are in danger. See. I cannot have you insult me. As a matter of fact, go. You can leave, go, go. go. Oh, fine, Father, I will leave. But I tell you this. I will never use my money, my hard-earned money, to marry a prostitute as a wife. Oh, how, how, how dare you insult my wife and myself and by calling her names? Listen, I won't take it. What do you call a woman, a wife, who gave you Staphylococcus aureus and syphilis? It didn't end there. She went ahead and broke your waist. What do you call that, father? Wait, did you say Staphylococcus what? <sighs> Keep waiting for your queen. Good night, Father. Where did he get that from? Could this be reason why I'm seeing some kind of itchings within the region, the pulse I had then? Mom. Yes. The almighty Queen Ulaku has not back to the palace yet. And His Majesty waits in earnest for her by the coming of Christ. <laughs> All right, sweetheart, why don't you go to bed? And remember, you are going to the office very early tomorrow morning. So, allow your father handle it. To be candid, Mom, I think father is under a spell. How can a man's wife be misbehaving 
yet he does nothing. Who does that, Mom? You are just like your father. Believe me, he is not under the spell. All right? Like I said earlier, allow your father to handle this. Go and sleep. I'm not like my father. <coughs> You're like me. Good night, Mom. Good night. He's like me. <laughs> Oh, good, good evening. You don't greet me. Oh, you don't like it when a queen greets you? Then get out of my sight. Why where, did I even greet you? Where do you think you're going? And what, what sort of stupid question is that? Are you my husband or are you my father to ask me such a question? Well, your husband, the king, my father, instructed that you should not be allowed into this palace. That is a fight. My husband, the king of this great kingdom, would never say that. Talk more of telling you to tell me not to come into my house it's not done adako you're a married woman a queen at that how dare you leave your husband's house in the morning only to come back by this time of the night oozing of alcohol and you dare to ask me why the king will give such orders hmm? are you mad no you are the one who is raving mad. Listen, what she just said, I don't believe. I have to speak to my husband first. Get out. You're leaving this house now. Else I will disfigure your face. I swear. <laughs> you know what? See, I need not to remind you that you are speaking to the only legitimate queen of this great kingdom. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow, eh, you go collect. Well, go damn, what? Damn, what? Queen. What? 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 I don't care. She should go back to wherever she was coming from. That's not nice. You and your father did not take a good decision. That wasn't nice. Mom, you amused me. How? What did you expect the king to do at that time? A wife leaves the husband's house in the morning only to return in the night, past midnight, reeking of alcohol. What do you expect him to do? Welcome her back with a hug? Oh, no, Mom. Nobody does that. My main concern is... I mean, what will people say? What people must say should not concern you. We should concern ourselves with doing the right thing. Yes. I still insist. It wasn't a good decision both of you took. Come on. There are so many, so many other ways to handle this situation. Sweetheart, go bring her. Mom, right now you're getting me confused. You are the one who has been complaining that dad has done nothing concerning her behaviors. Now he's done something and you're still complaining he didn't do well. Let me ask you a question. Where does your father expect her to sleep tonight? Where? It's late. Come on, I'm now. I'm going to bed, Mom. You're going to bed? Yes, I am. Just like that. Good night, Mom. Good child. But Queen Olako, whatever spirit has befallen you, why are you behaving like this? Hmm? Now, what 
would people say, seeing their queen roaming about? The street this night. What? of the palace. You uh, said the king sent you out by this time of the night? Why would the king do that to you? Why are you quoting me from inside? Open it. Open the door. If you must know, I went to Kobe. I went to have fun. I went to have so much fun. I went to dance. General Madabeu. <laughs> And I came back and he asked me to leave the palace. Eh? Don't I have my right to explore? Am I not the queen? Eh? Yolani, have you seen it? A queen went out and soaked herself in alcohol. Comes back to expect her husband, the king, to play a nice music for her. Huh? Quinolaka, where is your sense of reasoning? Because I know you don't have one. Ah, oh, Jaco, you stand there and watch that useless woman you call your wife insult the queen, the only queen of Obodoma Kingdom, because I came to your house to seek for refuge. Huh? Look, take it easy, eh? She's our queen. Hmm? Don't insult her. She's a queen. Queen my foot. Queen my foot. It is your like that make our kingdom. Our kingdom that the ghost has blessed with milk and honey to become a jubodo instead of a bodoma. Look, Olako. I will not allow you to spend a night in this my house. I will not. You will not spend a night in this my house for you not to infect my family with your drunkenness and wickedness. Look, you better leave my house before I come out. Did you hear me? I thought you said you are a queen. Why won't you follow the full steps of law? Elnaku, leave my house. Uh, but uh, take it easy. Uh, super little. You can let her in so that uh, she. Say, pass the rope. Okay. Best of the same feather. Ah, oh, she must be banished. You don't want to open the door for me. You will suffer it. 
But where will she go with it by this time of the night? Why would she come to your house? Among all the elders in council, she chose to come to your house. It's she and I So the Bible law. Don't allow me to say something I don't want to say now. Okay, wait. I know the king must have told you not to open the gate for me, but trust me, once I come in, the king will not do anything to you. I will protect you and I will give you a lot of money. Open the gate for me! Please! Who has this kind of morale? Open the gate! How do you think you're going to? Get out! What do you mean I should get out? I am the only queen of this palace. Why would you send me out of my whole, 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 whole husband's house? I you am mad? the queen of this palace. You can ask me that question. What queen do you think you are? Excuse me. Get outside. Get out of my side. I said get outside! Hey, 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 God, hey. throw this woman outside. You dare not touch Throw her out! Kill you. Fine, Please. I'll do it myself. Oh, get out! Oh, my get out! Oh, Get out! Oh my God. Get out! 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 Get Get out! 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 Get the fucking gates! Nonsense! What the hell is wrong with you? Are you mad? How say you? Mother! I am your mother! I'm talking to you! You should have listened to me! You have no right whatsoever to lift your father's wife up! Mother! What was that for? What was that for? Mom! Mom? Mom! 
this is a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy to throw me out of the palace without anything. I can't take this line, Lord. I cannot. They will have to feel my wrath one after the other. I am not a loser and I will never be. I can't take this ignominious defeat. Igwe will have to pay. He will have to pay for this insolence. Either by hook or by crook. I promise him he will pay. I can't take this. I will never take this. This time around, deal with that proud and arrogant pen who laugh. Eh? No! Imagine insulting me! Me! No, which is for Jacob. She insulted me just because I asked her to give me a little bit. That thing, that thing she, she's always shouting to other men. Give me a little bit of it. She, she, she insulted me. Proudly, arrogantly. <laughs> this time around, if she refuses to concur, eh, I will just walk away. That door will be open for me. Walk away through that door. Nonsense. Oh, do no ma kwe ni yo tupu. Hmm? Na, nyangwa. Nonsense. Let me even call her. Let me call her. this place. I cannot watch people stare me out of proportion. I need to leave this place. I need to leave here already. Why, why is he calling me? Oga, come and take me out of here. Why are you calling me? Hello, Ichi. Yes. Uh, yes, Chief uh, Ojago. Uh, what is happening? Where are you? Uh, 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 my queen, you have to meet me at uh, Tony's guest house. And why, why should I meet you there? Uh, listen, I can't be seen with you around in public. Eh? Yeah, you know, you know that. People can talk. Eh? So, um, I'm uh, come to Tony's guest house. I'm already there. Hmm? Yes, I'm waiting for you. Wait, wait. Hello? Hello? Does this useless man expect me to come to that dirty place? What kind of, what kind of nonsense is this? How this useless man is embarrassing me? Eh? Where do I go from here? So where, where, what the hell is he? Hello? What is wrong with you? Where are you? I'm in front of the hotel. Can you come out already? I can't be standing here for so long. You're in room nine. What am I expected to come there and do with you? I don't get it. You seem to have forgotten that I am the queen of this kingdom. Not just the queen, but the only crown queen of Obodoma kingdom. You don't expect me to be seen in a hotel with you or even outside here. It's not proper. Can you just please come out? Just come out. Let's talk. I, listen, I'm not going to take that. Come out. What in heaven's name is wrong with this fool? He's gone. <laughs> no! All he does is hang up on me like I don't matter. Hey, God, what have I gotten myself into? How do I begin to escape this now? So everybody's just looking at me. Oh. 
Let's come in. The door is open. Come in. Ah. We know that. You are here. Make yourself comfortable on the bed. I don't like how, how could you have kept me outside for so long? Uh, 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 sorry, uh, but uh, But uh, what? Why did you bring me here? Hmm. I've been walking all about. You you kept me on the road for so long. I thought you were coming there. Uh, uh, no, I had to bring us there. Uh, I'm really, really stressed. Anyway, why did you bring me here? Uh, I brought you here to avoid the prying eyes of the people. You know, people can talk. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's all right. Uh, 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 but uh, what really happened last night? It's not necessary. Listen, all I want is for you to take me to the palace and plead with the king on my behalf. Please, have you made up your mind to accompany me? Uh, yes, uh, but... Uh, but what? There's no but. Let's just go. Uh, I'm, I'm tired. Listen, I will accompany you to the palace to plead on your behalf. Uh -huh. On what condition? Which is? You will be my bedmate. What? Have you gone mad? I don't even understand. What do you mean by that? Hey, Ojiako, what do you mean? What I'm saying is this. I will have you now and I will go into you any day, any time. Like will you that. clean your mouth? What sort of madness is that? Yeah? You want to have who? Something is definitely... Don't, don't allow me to insult you. Just come and do what I asked you to do. Ogini. Oh. Ah, what? Okay. In that case, you look for someone else to... Accompany you to the palace, hmm? so I to fight Jago from out of here. Hmm? Look at you. So what you have done to yourself? You've been thrown out of the palace and you're roaming up and down like a vagabond. In fact, a confused monkey. Yeah. You're calling me. No, no. Let me tell you something. Eh? In fact, goodbye, uh, Quinola. Oh, wait a second. You're no longer a queen. Why should I be called a queen? Goodbye, Quinola. Do you, know, do you know you're a very, very stupid man? Okay. Do you know you're very, very stupid? Listen, eh, I no, can't... No problem. Wait, let, first, now, let me talk. talk you should, shut up, you this short man. Uh. Listen, I know you love money. I can actually give you money. But not... Look at you now. I will my size. Mm. I will give you money. Forget about the other side. Let me tell you something. I have always longed for this. In fact, this, your sex body gives me perennial insomnia. And that insomnia will continue for the rest of your life. You will never sleep. What kind of a man is this? Oh. Is that what you... See, let's talk about this thing. I'll give you money. I don't need money. This is what I need. Any day, any time, I want it to give it to me. Yeah? I will go in, come out, go in, come out any day. Okay? okay? Otherwise, <clears throat> let me go. Hmm? The one. Maybe I will have to... <clears throat> let me take my... Uh, since you, uh, I'll do it. it. Hey, so you give me this your uh, sexy body? Yeah? Not yet. Yeah. Not, not. We have to take me to the palace first. Oh, no, no, the we, king have, of we have to do it first. We have to start with it and then continue with it. And of course, maybe later, 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 we can end with it. Yeah? Let's start it now. Hey, <laughs> hey wait! You should go and freshen up. Look at you. You're sweating and you just want to jump on me like that. Oh my god. Is this how we're going to do it? Hey, you, you, you can't jump on me like that. Look at you. But you, 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 you've been walking up and down the area like a confused monkey. And now yeah, you, you are, are smelling. How can I be? I back. cannot be smelling. Like, you, you have not had your bath since last since yesterday. Since day for yesterday. You've been walking up and down the street. Uh, uh, Igwe, please. You have to forgive her, please. Our people say, when you beat a child with the right hand, you draw the same child back with the left. Please, forgive her. Georgia. Huh? I seriously do not know which end you are pleading on her behalf. She's still so young and naive, please. The chair, you will go with her. Father, can you just let me send those people out so we can continue making plans for my sister's traditional marriage, please? Lovely. So, so lovely. Our princess is getting married. Oh, yes. 
is beautiful. Uh, princess, please. Uh, congratulations in advance. Eh? Hey, this is Thank good. You. Thank you. Well, you heard the king. Let's go. Move. Get up. Out, out, out. Let's go. Let's go. Majesty, please, I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I have wronged you and I will never wrong you again. You are the devil that came over me. Lord, Lord, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. My prince, Nico, I'm super sorry. Prince of the Lord. Masnachi, I know I've erred. In one way or the other, I have, I have done wrongs to you. I'm sorry. Please find a place you have to forgive me. You go should forgive me. I won't do this again. Please. Can you imagine that? Olako. Uh, it is obvious you've become a drama queen. Uh -uh. Nice performance. Next scene, please. I'm bad, please, from my heart. Okay, my son, please. Uh, Your Majesty, let us forgive her. She what? has apologized. Yes, that's the most important. Please, let's forgive her. The same apology I begged her to apologize to the people she offended. And she bluffed. Why now? It was inevitable. I will never do that again. Please, please. Honestly, I don't have anywhere to go, Your Majesty. You push should not do this to me. I will just die. Eh? See, I've repented all. I am not a born again. A born again Christian. I will never bring chaos to this household again. Each time I try it, let me die. <laughs> I, King Ahana, your Hamadike of Obodoma Kingdom, I, I refuse to identify with a whore. I'm not a whore. Get out! <laughs> you do not have regard for royalty. All you heard, my father. I'm Get out! Please, please, please. Let us forgive her. What? Yes. I will do. Please. Oh, she has now realized her mistake. Oh, Even you. <laughs> Excuse me. My beautiful and ever gorgeous Lola. Uh, How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine. And the Queen Olaka, you look bright today. Oh, thank you so much. And all thanks to you. I really want to use this medium to thank and appreciate you for interfering on my behalf yesterday. Thank you so much. I mean, without you, by now, I would have been out of this palace. And I promise to maintain peace. I will stand for peace in this family. I'm promising you that. Please. Wow. Am I dreaming? Now listen, let's maintain peace. Believe me, the whole kingdom will envy us. I know. I don't just that sometimes I don't even know what comes over me. Not to, but the truth is, you are not just a beautiful woman outwardly. Your soul is amazing. So I'm really happy, you know, to be your co-wife. You just that the craziness inside me sometimes. <laughs> I have stopped. I will never behave like that again. Ah, I pray. Mm. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, I have. Thank you. Uh, and that reminds me, the princess fiance. I mean, is not here. I can't wait to meet her. Oh, so. So she'll be here. Okay. I promise you'll oh, see her. I can't wait to you see will. her. <laughs> Lots of beautiful things are happening at the same time. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? 
I am really excited. <laughs> Same here. My love, love. Mm. You know, there's one thing you really do not know about me. Okay. I'm actually a wonderful cook. Really? In fact, I should say I'm a chef. Wow. I cook wonderfully well, but you know, we've been queens in the palace. Mm. We have got mates and guys mm. at our beck and call. You know, it makes us, you know, to be all, mm. you know. I know. But you tell me your best meal and I'll have it prepared, then you would confirm that I am really good. <laughs> For real? Yes. What is my best meal? <laughs> Let me think. Coming from Queen Olako. Yes. Ako. Even if you bring water, I'll drink. Right? Give me anything. Wait for it. Ah! I'm coming. Wait for it. Is she for real? It's a dream. A dream? Honey, I just had a terrible nightmare. Another one? I don't know why this nightmare keeps repeating itself. And I guess the king died again in your dream. Huh? Honey, we must give this every attention it needs. We mustn't allow this tragedy to befall this real home. We can't allow my father-in-law to die just like that. Nothing will happen to the king. All right? All those dreams you have in there because you're pregnant. Honey, far from it. I am blessed with the gift of seeing things before they happen. God showed us this because he doesn't want it to happen. <sighs> Darling, I've, I've told you this before and I'm telling you again. When a woman is pregnant, she starts having strange dreams. This is natural. Honey, I know what I saw. My dreams do come to pass. They are not to be disregarded. Please. Go back to bed. We'll talk about this in the morning. Go ahead. Come. Come back to bed. Don't be adamant over my yet another dream about father being poisoned to death, please. All you have me do? Suck the chaff? Oh, come on, darling. We have the most trusted palace workers ever. As a matter of fact, all the workers are under an oath never to hurt any member of this royal family. So I can beat my chest and tell you, they can never think of hurting this family. Besides, why will Patricia want to hurt a man who gave life to a family? Tell me. My husband, you know dreams comes in diverse ways. It might not be food poisoning per se, 
But seriously, we need to avert such tragedy. Please. What do you advise we do? Prayers, baby. Let's pray. Prayers? Mm. Very well. You can go ahead and pray. As for me, I'm off to work. All right? Come here. I love you, doll. Take care. Even my husband does not believe in my gift of seeing things before they happen. He thinks that it's because I am pregnant, that is why I'm constantly having nightmares. But far from it, I know what I have been seeing. This is pure revelation. <clears throat> Father, you said in your word, you said, if we ask, we will receive. You said, if we seek, we shall find. And you said, if we knock, the doors will be opened unto us. Lord, I ask this moment. Igwe, Igwe, no, Igwe, no, no, for the bent on frustrating the life of this child in your womb. Honey, the king is dead. Can you just stop? I beg you. Igwe is dead. Babe, you cried out from your dreams and that is very bad for the child. Huh? Just go back to bed. I'm here, you'll be fine. Baby, the king is dead. Just... Igwe is dead. You know what? Let's go to my father's room so we can confirm he's not dead. All right? Uh. As you can see, Father is fast asleep. Can we go back to the room now? Please. Honey, the yes. Igwe is dead. Can you stop the suspensive joke? I beg you, stop. All right? Honey, believe me. I know what I saw. The king has been murdered. Murdered by who? Are you out of your mind? How can you say my father has been... The Igwe has been sent to the great beyond. Father. Father. Father, I don't like this, all right? You're making me wake him up. Father. Dad. I told you, the Igwe is dead. Dad. Dad. Father, 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 dad, dad, call the guards, call them now, father, father, call them, we need to take him to the hospital, father, father, wake up, wake up, it's me, wake up, what's going on, father, wake up, wake up, please, please don't do this, don't do this, mom, mom, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I just, I just made father like this, I'm trying to wake him up, he wouldn't respond. Igwe. Igwe! I don't know what happened. I don't know. I just... I just... Ah. Oh no. Igwe! 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 Igwe!
Maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. You said you were going to take your bath. But here you are, lost in thought, my love. Who bothers you? My father. I just, I just have this, this strange feeling that there's something wrong with my father. Come on, baby. You said that earlier today. You even called to check up on him, and you confirmed it was fine. Yeah. Just go in and take your belt. Don't forget your condition. It does not mean any form of stress. Okay? Okay. Uh, I don't know. No, not saying again. Uh, okay? I promise you, tomorrow morning I will take you to go see your father. Do you <laughs> Yes, of course. Are you okay now? Hello, Prince Kenna. We are fine, and you? What? How did it happen? When? How? We'll meet up with you shortly. No wonder my wife was having this negative feeling. How do I break this news to my wife? Where do I start from? What's going on here? Mother! Father, is it true what I heard? Prince Ikena. Say something, where is my father? Wait! 
and you left without me holding her. Father, please wake up, I beg you. Tell my mother to wake up. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, right? He's sleeping. I'll wake him up. Wake him up. Wake him up. I'll wake him up. Listen to you. He talks to me. Oh, Father. Ago. And now, I never be King Ahala dies the same way Ono who died on his bed. On his bed! Abaya Ocha. Oh! The entire kingdom is grieved. The death of Igwe Ahana came as a huge shock to everyone. Hmm. As much as the death of Igwe Ahana is a bitter pill for all of us to swallow, we just have to grind our teeth and endure it. We have all uh, groomed and mourned in dismay, but we must not cry like hopeless people because our Igwe left a qualified heir to the throne of Obodomo. Prince Ikenna, the ball is now in your court. You should take over the mantle of leadership to continue from where your father stopped. And I know you will make us proud. Mm. Lolo, please take heart. You know, the body of our late Igwe cannot be taken to the mortuary. It must be buried somewhere in the palace this night. Uh, then, in the next four market day, we we'll have to fix a date for the funeral. That is our tradition. Greetings, Prince of Obodoma Kingdom. Greetings. I am so elected to see you today. I really haven't seen you since the demise of King Gahana, your father. Oh, you know it's not easy losing a loved one. <laughs> I'm so sorry for this. But it's, it's all right, I'm, I'm fine. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so are you from Obodoma Kingdom? Not really. I work with Access Bank here in Obodoma Kingdom, that's all. Wow. So you're a banker? A good one at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So you're Mr... My name is Godswill, sir. Mr. Godswill? That's right. It was really nice talking to you. Um, I'll have to be on my way. No, 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 no. Not so fast, my prince. Excuse me? My prince, I have to tell you this. I know about all the happenstance in the palace. And what are you talking about? I know everything that has been happening in the palace, my prince. The same people killed King Ahana. 
your father. What exactly are you saying? My prince, King Ahana, your father, did not die a natural death. He was killed in cold blood. <sighs> Mr. Godswell, Godswell, can you see this at the police station? Yeah, my prince, I can say this anywhere. You see that's been Olaku. One Ichie, Ojiako, and Cordelia, they are the brains behind everything that has happened on campus. My prince, that is not all. I also gathered from a very reliable source that you are the next target. What? Prince, I just Not part of Igwe's mother. I was only jealous of my best friend Olako who got married to the king, not look. We came back from Libya where we were prostitute. Hey! I said it. I said it! I said it. Yes, one Mr. Benjamin took 64 of us to Libya for prostitution. Not long, we were deported and repatriated after two years. Not long, we came back when Olaku came to announce to me that one Ichi Ojako hooked her up with the king. I was simply jealous. And ever since then, I've been doing everything possible for her to be sent out of the palace. But it wasn't working out. But even when I was gingering her, knowing that all she was doing wasn't right. All I was doing was for her to be sent out. Everything that is happening in the palace, each other was foiling it. <laughs> Everything was for my friend to join me out. Because no one wants to marry me. I wanted them to send her out of the palace. I'm sorry, my friend. Is your friend? I'm sorry. I Lago, should have known. Please. I should have known that all the drama you were telling me to put up in the palace was for me to be sent out. I'm sorry, my I should have known. You're so evil. She's well. I I I wanted the, the, the kinship by all means. My, my, my late father sought for it in his own time, but he could not get it. So I thought I would make, try make a bid for it. Yes. You see, my late father was he was he was happy when uh, uh, the late uh, king uh, Angomba could not impregnate his wives. Yes, but we knew that it was important. Well, that'd be because if the king had no hair, I mean, uh, the kingship will automatically come to our clan. And, uh, so it was in our favor that the king was important. So when eventually we heard that uh, 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 the two queens were pregnant at the same time, the same time, we were wondering, how come? How could an important man impregnate two women at the same time so out of curiosity my late father went to consult a dibia apa who revealed to us that it was a uh, ibeka uh, who impregnated the two women for the king who was the twin brother uh, but my father warned me he warned me after telling me the story he warned me not to tell anybody because I wanted to get at the royal family by all means. I told Olaf because I knew her very well. <laughs> and she went to the palace and dropped the bombshell. And everywhere scattered. Mm. That is it. You see, I purposely 
introduce Olaku to Kingahana because I know she's no good. She's no good. You see, I planted her in the palace to achieve my aim. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, in fact, even when I told her to kill the king, she succeeded in killing the king. What? Mm -hmm. uh, she killed the king, and uh, in fact, our next target was to assassinate the prince. May the gods punish you! Because if we assassinated the prince, the kingship will automatically come to our clan. That will become the king of Obodoma Kingdom. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I if uh, I cause any any harm or any uh, or happiness to the family. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. You forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, I never knew evil does not pay. I was deceived by my two most trusted friends, Jacob and Cordelia. I never knew they were so terrible. They made me do what I did out of bitterness and hatred. I hated the, the royal family so much, even when you people didn't do anything to me. I'm sorry, please. It wasn't intentional. Please, I'm sorry. Did my father ever do to you that made you snuff life out of him? What? My, my priest, it wasn't entirely my fault. He was the one that brought the whole idea. He even wanted you dead. That was why he, he made plans and we sent assassins after you. But fortunately for you and unfortunately for us, they came to tell us that um, they didn't know how you escaped. He, he's the one, he's the master planner. I'm sorry. You wanted to kill me, right? But I'll tell you this. No man born of a woman can hurt me. Of course. You all are going to spend the rest of your lives in jail. Let's take them away. My prince. Get out! I'm not 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 Outside the gate! The evil that men do lives with them. Ah! Oh, the alcohol. Oh, I always known you to be a very bad man. Anyway, a white way lived a very righteous life. His blood speaks for justice and seeks for justice. And justice has gotten my evil. Outside the gates! All of them. Oh, 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 Confusion everywhere. If a man, why a liar? Who set this kingdom on fire? Why a liar? If a man, why a liar? If a man, oh, 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 o
up on the beat of my album There is confusion And a lot of misunderstanding Oh, I've been a small Take inside Oh, I don't know why I lie, I lie Confusion everywhere If a man Why I lie, I lie Who set this kingdom on fire Why am I 